Why is that on the screen? Oh, you thought that was the only countdown got you, girl? We're edging him, baby. What is happening, gearheads? It has been a while, but the king is back. And just in time, it seems, as the greatest wrap-up show in the history of wrap-up shows is starting right now. Hi, I'm your announcer, Jerry Seinfeld. You may know me from the great Blind Mike Project game. Is this funny? Welcome, Welcome to, to Gearbox, Gearbox, a show for Blind Mike fans. Joining us tonight, the great Carl from Who Are These Podcasts to break down today's Blind Mike project and maybe a little more. Let's not get greedy. Those frosted tips need their rest. <laughs> now it's time to give it up to your host, the demon himself, Hack Rye, and the busty fry lady, DJ Electra Fry. What is up, everyone? We are doing it. I know that I'm not muted because I made sure, but I did forget my moving background. Oh, here we are. Ah, look at us! Hey! 100%! All right. Welcome to Gearbox, everyone! How is everyone doing? Hey, and guess what? We're all whores at the end of the day. Well, so that's why we're here, right? We could do other things, but, you know, we're whores at the end of the day. So welcome to the one and only show about Blind Mike, Geary, and Kragers. Well, until there's more, I guarantee there are going to be more. Oh my God, there's going to be so many. But this is the one where we like them. Yes, so welcome. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We haven't done enough for you to do it yet, but I mean, do it anyway. You know it's good. Look at all this. I did all this. Look around. Look at the room. It's good, right? Yes. Way more work than that panel loser from Raj. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, who's our guest tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Uh, uh, rewind on that one. Anyway. Uh, so we have a new thing I want to introduce really quick to everyone. We have this new thing. It's called Super Chat AI Blind Viking Craig. Yes, that's right. Super Chat $20. <laughs> Oh, four memberships and you get a blind Michael Krager's will read your chat. That's amazing. I bet I bet you guys are asking, what does that sound like? What is that like to get the amazing blind Michael Krager's to read your super chat? Well, let's, let's, let's take a look. This is what it would sound like. Oh, Krager's, isn't it great to watch Gearbox while simultaneously putting each other's sausage in our mouth? Forming what will become to be known as the greatest perfect human 69 to have ever existed. Well, look at that! Isn't that you can do that? Yes, you can do that too. All right, not just me. You can do that. And we also have Craig. I am a man known for some bad choices. 
but Metallica is right above the rotting corpses in my walls. Since I lost the fat, I need more insulation. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Craigus, for that. He, he, since he lost the fat, he needs more insulation. So that's why the bodies go in the wall. Oh, cra oh no. Oh, no, he left. Oh, no, our guest. All right. Well, no, no, he's back. He's back. All right. Anyway. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you watched today's Blind Mike project. Yes, it was on 7 a.m. on the West Coast. Yes, and 10 a.m. on the East Coast. And it was amazing. I hope you watched it. There was Brendan Schaub. There was Coach HP. And there was some stuttering John. We don't talk about him here. Well, we kind of do. Tonight, we're going to talk about him here. All right. So, everyone, uh, the link will be in the chat on Andrea, uh, uh, mod Andrea, please put the link in the chat. And if you're not doing anything, Electra, fighting those Spurg trolls, go ahead and put the link in the chat. And everyone watch Blind Mike today. This show is not about covering blind mike so yeah i'm getting the summary this is not cliff notes oh no this is studying blind mike himself oh we tricked him he thought it was about his show no it's about him we're gonna study him if uncle rico and carl who's this amazing man with beautiful hair from rochester if if they have taught us one thing it's that you can study one thing but but no one's ever liked the thing they studied i'm gonna try it i really 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 like blind mike i think he is the Howard Stern of this generation. He just doesn't know it yet because he's walking into walls and shit. But once he figures it out, oh, watch out. So that is why I'm doing the show because I've sat around and watched him for a year. A whole year I sat around and watched this blind man and I'm like, my God, there's no one better than this other than maybe our guest. Oh, other than those two. And maybe like 30 other people that I will invite on our show and when they come on, I will say they're the better than you, our guest. That's just how it works. You do it. I've seen you. <sighs> I'm already better than Zumok, right? I mean, you admit that this is already better than a Zumok production. Anyway, all right, here we go. Uh, we, we hope to demon. Be, I know I do that. We hope to be more than she. I have to set goddamn timers on our conversations. Anyway, we hope to be more than a wrap up show for Blind Mike. We hope to dig deeper and find the things that make Blind Mike, and to a lesser extent, Craig a tick. You know, we know Craig, it's the cookie aisle. Well, hey, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. All right. So, so when debuting this first episode, we wanted to bring in a field expert, a scientist in the field, a scientist, a podcast who studies them in the wild. All right. So everyone, you may know him from his mildly entertaining gimmick surf band. Oh my God. They're amazing. We also may know him from his miscolored pool table and clearly non childbearing wood paneling. Oh my God. Get a room with that paneling. But most of you know him for his shitting on your favorite podcast or, or improv group and then making you a fan of him and then eventually you're wearing a mask on YouTube. It's your fault, Carl! Yes, my parents are dead and no one's talking to me. My family thinks that's all your fault, Carl. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage of Carl Hamburger. What are you doing? Turn your camera <laughs> off. Oh, look at the camera whore. Hey, oh, Carl. Hey, hey. Yes. I'm sorry you had to meet our, our, our camera whore like that. She just wants the. <laughs> she just wants it. Anyway, Carl, thank you for coming. Thanks so much for having me. I just want to say we're off the bat. I lost a bet to Bob Levy. I had to frost my tips. That's why my hair looks the way that it does. The stupid Bills couldn't beat the Chiefs. Yes. And that, yeah, we had a wide right kick from uh, Tyler Bass. And here I am with my hair dyed blonde. Have you ever thought that maybe a dome would fix all your problems? All those losses, just get a dome and now you guys yes! are like a dome they're, dynasty. They're building a new stadium right now and it's not a fucking dome. It's no, ridiculous. no. Oh, no, Carl. You, maybe that hair isn't blonde enough. You need to get on the case. You need to be walking up and down the snow. You'll freeze. Oh, where you live is a nightmare. So anyway, it welcome sucks. to the show. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. So we're talking about the Blind Mike Project, but more importantly, we're talking about Blind Mike. And I remember yes. listening to the Blind Mike Project a long time ago, before we ever came on WATP. I decided to tune in. I went, what's this show about? I want to hear what this guy has to say. He had reached out to me. He was a fan, so I wanted to listen to his show, and I enjoyed it. But wow, it was totally different when I first listened to it. Watching the show today, his show is just WATP. I'm sorry. What? 
I, my wife comes downstairs. I'm watching Blind Mike, and there's there's two guys goofing on Stuttering Gentle. I'm like, is every show just WATP now? I'm pretty sure it is. Everyone's just I, ripping off WATP at this point. Of course, we're all we all suck at your teeth, but I did not see any fag haircuts, so I think they're okay. I think they're in the clear, Carl. I think was, they are totally wait, was, separate from was you. Was Craig wearing a hat today? Because that's why. Well, Craig always wears a hat. Have that's you seen why. what's going on under that hat? You don't want to see what's going on under the hat, Carl. That is I mean, why. it's it's a little worse than. Uh, Anyway, anyway, I am glad that you were able to come on, and I, I, I'm glad that you have this blind Mike obsession like I do. I think, I think it's an obsession. Like, there's something about blind Mike, the way he reacts to things. Hey, he just reminds me of Stern. So, anyway, I would like to thank you for coming on because you know you got a real JV situation over there. Uh, you and your thirty thousand viewers and your ten shows a day and all your money. Bleh. You now came to the real place to see how it's done. I understand you have to do that. You have to you have to go back to the streets. You have to you have to touch pavement. Yes, and this is where it happens. And so thank I, I thank you for coming here and admitting that you need to be taught how to do this. And please, people, I, I'd like to thank you for our new <laughs> our new con yes, teaching Carl broadcasting. What the That's fuck what we're doing right now. We're all teaching Carl That's how to not broadcast. That's why I'm here. I'm here to tell White <laughs> Mike he sucks at it. We're talking about have, me now? What's going on? What how do you have so many shows that are asking so many questions? Why do they broadcast? How do they broadcast? Why don't you learn and do it? Well, you do it very well. But anyway, welcome to Teaching Carl Broadcasting. So that's actually the show tonight, Carl. We're going to teach you because, you know, even though we're small, we fuck all night. You're, very, you're like a 13-inch dick that fucks for a minute. We're a one-inch dick that fucks all night. Which is anyway. better, DJ Electrify? <laughs> oh, no, don't ask her that. <laughs> Which is better? <laughs> oh dear not answering that one i'm not no she that. she <laughs> yes, that she signed in matter. you know she signed in india she cannot okay. go against the demon and that one would clearly go against the demon because they can't walk they love you more it's like that's an axiom if a woman can't walk they like you more now obviously you have a whole agenda here and i'm gonna let you get into no this agenda is your show. Oh, you, no, this is your show. i'm gonna let you do your thing but obviously just based on this intro you've learned to broadcast from blind mike blind mike took a 12 minute <laughs> yes. clip from Coach HP and made it over an hour. And I don't know when mm -hmm. is Craig, at what point does Craig say, can you let the guy say seven fucking words before you interject with your nonsense? You can never let anything fucking play. I sit there and I go, I just want to hear what the sentence is, Mike. Shut the fuck up. Let something play for a minute. He never does. Everything drags out for fucking ever on the show. So today's show is over three hours long. They probably did like, what, 20 segments? No, they did six. Six <laughs> fucking segments. It's, it's nonsense. It drags out forever. Move on. Let's go. Everyone, Carl's tan now. Look at him. Oh, this is how Germans get tan. They <laughs> yell right. at you and then they're tan. A, that tan in that hair, my dick is enormous right now. You well, are a backstreet boy. We think hold of on, the hold countries on. like this. Are you kidding me? Hold, this is what we hold do. Hold on, hold on. Everyone, 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 calm down. Just calm down, everyone. Carl, when did you join Ron Perlman in the band that, oh, where is it? There it is. What did you do to yourself? <laughs> yes. What did you do? Come on. Wow. Do you see what I posted in the private chat? Someone put together a very good uh, Photoshop I, today of I my did. new hairdo. I don't know if you can pull that up or not. It might be difficult. Oh, no. We don't have technology here. What are you <laughs> yeah. you? <laughs> I've been waiting for you to ask. And if you need to know where Carl is, he's like, where are all the dicks? They're down here. All right. I'm down here. Put my hair by these dicks. <laughs> God amazing. damn. Best yes, seat in the house wanted. right there. <laughs> yes, but no, none of them are touching you, which also says something. Uh, Carl, I mean, you know, maybe you might not be the best gay ever. The thing about being gay, it's a high bar if you're gay. Oh my, have you seen their magazines? I'm like, I can't, uh, no, G give me women who like guts and, and, and 40 year old fat dad men, you know? Yeah, uh, gay requires too many sit ups. I agree with you. <laughs> yes, they are very judgmental. Yes, but anyway. Can I just talk about today's episode of Blind Mike Project? Because that's what I'm to do today, even though. No, you're going to try to alpha my this. show? Yes, well, I have so. I assumed that the wrap up show would be about the Blind Mike Project. And I watched well, well, it would be, but he's like, hey, can I, I go, hey, can I cover your life? And he's like, you can cover every show but that one. I'm like, which one? He's like, that one. <laughs> I'm like, I can't fight Kirk Minahan any. Found. He's like, no crossing streams. I'm like, well, whatever. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's talk about the blind mic project. Would you would you like to talk about uh HP? I'm not talking about that because I have no clips for that because I fell asleep. 
No. Honestly, I mean, if I'm going to be honest about it, I don't fell asleep HBO. He had like five keys to uh, oh, uh, uh, podcasting. But one of them wasn't keeping your audience awake, so I fell asleep. No, honestly, the, the Coach HP would have been great if it was like 12 minutes long, but instead it was an hour and 20. But I want to start off. We got a stretch. The He's, super chance, baby. Come yeah, on. I guess. I guess. So, you, you think this, that Olympic pays for itself? I <laughs> Where do you think we get that? Craig, Craig's looking smelt. I get it. So the show starts off bitching about me. The, the first thing that happens on the show today is they're bitching because we were commenting on Joe Matarese on WATP yesterday. And Joe Matarese had this stand-up thing. He's doing this tour called 93.7% Italian. Where they make all these jokes about being, hey, what about these guys who pronounce mozzarella, mozzarella? Hey, 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 oh, hey, I'll bring you Nintendo and Mario hey, Luigi. We'll hey, give you a discount. Hey, oh, you have you seen weird. this guy? Hey, oh. So we played a clip of that. My, myself, Eric Zane, we're on the show. We're playing the clip. And it sounded like they were sweetening the audience a little bit. I, I heard some. Oh, you think? Well, I heard like laughter and applause during the setup, which is always an indicator that maybe this isn't really what's going on. So Mike gets on immediately and he goes, oh, didn't we just do this on WATS? I guess Carl forgot about WATS. So I went, wait, did we do this on WATS? So I looked back. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we covered Joe Matarese's TikTok where he talked about Panera Coffee, free breakfast at a hotel, and he did his Cat Williams impression. None of it had to do with sweetening an audience or stand-up. So I'm like, head scratching in my new uh, hairdo. Like, what the fuck is going on? So then I go back and I find, back in August of last year, we were playing a clip where Joe was in some VFW or something, and he was doing crowd work, and there was a single comment made by Blind Mike, hey, kind of sounds like maybe they're sweetening <laughs> the audience here. And then Mike is on the show, he's just like, I can't believe Carl didn't have me on the show! This is all we gotta talk about, WTS! Has he forgot that we're on a show together? Mike, what the fuck are you talking about? Do you have any podcasts I do? I forget about you! Friday morning is when I forget about you. I hit upload, and then you're out of my mind. How oh, dare he... you? Oh, oh, we need to hug Carl. We have such similar experiences. I can't believe it. A year of yes. the same thing I'm talking about. This is, oh, this is like some sort of deep. This is a, this is not a show covering the Blind Mike project. No, this is a debriefing on working with that asshole. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Blind Mike, but goddamn. No, I hey, heck right. Let's, let's take this offline. You and me, Electric <laughs> Ryan, let's just talk about what a douchebag. We did for like 20 minutes before the show. That's why we were late. <laughs> You think it was about his hair? No, we were like, oh, so what about Blind Mike? Oh, no, Craig, is he's a, what, maybe a pedophile. Who cares? Let's talk about Blind Mike. Why is he so weird? Oh, but no, if you the, think the, the problem is, is Mike Geary has gotten too big for his britches. He thinks he's a big celebrity now. Have you he seen sees... how big his britches are? Oh, my God. You, <laughs> there's a show he's on. I can't. Oh, my God. He's so big on that show compared to the other show. He darkens it. He's like a mysterious Marilyn Manson figure in the dark corner. You're like, he's a skinny alien. No. Then you go and watch this other It's like, whoa, Mike, what's going on over there? I still love you, Mike. You know what he is? You know how Stevie Wonder could actually see? Yes, I, I do. I have a theory on, on Mike Geary. He's sitting there. Cool. He's looking at the numbers. Oh, 600 <laughs> people watching live right now. 700 people watching live right now. And he's sitting there oh. going, I'm the next Kevin Brennan. Look at me. I'm Mike Geary. <laughs> I'm going to drag all this shit out for fucking ever and shit on my co-host, Carl. <laughs> Elba, I'm sorry. He is currently sweating all over you. Right now, Blind Mike is in a bed somewhere in Connecticut sweating. <laughs> so we're sorry, Blind Mike. Craig is eating. Blind Mike is sweating. That is he's, what is going on. Why is he not? Well, I texted him and told him, I don't know if you know about this, but there's a show about your show tonight. I'm going to be honest. No, I'm not sure if he knew. No, Blind Mike knows. He definitely knows. Like The way we, I don't know if you saw the end of our show today. You might have saw the beginning. But if you go to the end, they just, uh, we, no one's ever been kicked out of the Blind Mike show before. We were kicked out, baby. Oh, I saw the it. Day, I was there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the day after we were kicked off of uh, Debbie Collins' show. Oh, we, we are on a roll. Hey, can I come on your show tomorrow and you kick me off? Let's keep going. <laughs> this is hot. Hey, come on, come on the creep off and we'll kick you off immediately. <laughs> you, don't like, you don't like to have me on your shows. You, you just send me to the fucking freshman team over there. Hi, Christian. How are you guys doing? Uh, you're the anyway. JV squad. <laughs> no, you're, I'm the JV. They're freshmen. Uh, like, <laughs> they may be transitioning. We don't know what's going on over there. Anyway, would you like to... I'm sorry, Christian. I love him. Would you like to see uh, my view of the Stuttering John stuff today? Because here's the thing, yes. Carl. We do not cover Stuttering John on this channel. We don't do it. It's not our thing. I, know, I, I don't we, like it either. You do it so well. I'm glad you finally, though, came to a place that knew how to do something like this. Again, any time that you can humble yourself like this, it's amazing because everyone 
We're teaching Carl broadcasting tonight. Oh, he, he needs it. Look at that. Yeah, the decision making process tree on this man has gone left. Oh no. Oh no. Let's. Can we get G? Can we get the wife? I love your beautiful wife. I, I, I did held her at knife point one time, but. Uh, you know, bygones be bygones, under the water, bridge, you know, whatever. So I would like to talk to you about this hair, because, oh my God, I think she would say, Carl, shave your head. Time, time to come home. We, we, we're, we're going like, because uh, if you shaved your head, you are a little like Breaking Bad. You know what I'm saying? You look a little Breaking Bad-ish with your head shaved. Well, heck, right. I don't want to spoil the bit, but I've been growing my hair out because now that I've dyed the top of it blonde, I can just shave it all off. Yes, you still have hair. Yes, you still have time to shave it. What did your wife have to say about the hair? Does she like the frosted tips? She's she did it. She's a hairstylist. Oh, sweet. Yeah, she came in on her day off at the salon today and did this for me. Uh. Actually, it's it's funny that you asked that, DJ Electrified, because she I go, um, how long is this gonna take? She goes, I don't know. I don't do frosted tips. It's not a thing. (laughs) No no one's getting their tips frosted. She has no idea even how to fucking do it. She's like, This is not not a thing we're doing over here. It's not nineteen ninety eight. Exactly. Yes, my pussy doesn't know. It just looks at you and is like, I don't know. How do I do that? I don't know. Congratulations, though, for making yourself unattractive to your wife. It's 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 all in good fun. But I am sure the when she's bald, oh, double the attraction. So it all make up. It all balance out in the end. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to grow Let's... some devil horns, I think. That's going to be my next look. Ooh. Uh, oh, don't talk like about that. my... Don't talk about my father like that. I don't uh, don't bring families into this, Carl. Uh, although we're about to bring families into this, Carl. Good segue. Hey, yo, here we go. Are you ready to watch some families? Yeah. Here we. All right. Oh, where did it go? Oh, DJ Electrify. Wrong one. Let's go. Oh, All right. Why can't Carl and Blind Mike? Why why can't anyone quit this man? Is the question. Watch this and answer. Stuttering John. Oh, yeah. Now, sure, you might point out that we've been talking a lot of Stuttering John lately after I said we'd never talk about him again. But no one points to the episode we did where I said we only talk about Stuttering John. You know? (laughs) They forget that one. I say a lot of bullshit that I don't mean. (laughs) Mike is wider now than Craig. It's happened. The reverse has happened. All right, here we go. (laughs) That I back out of because I realize it's a bad idea. But I'm captivated by the guy. I'm going to say that a lot. Like, hey, I'm done with this guy. I can't do it. But, like, you see what he's doing, and it's hard not to keep going back. I want to comment on this so badly. Yes, so, Carl, my question to you is this. Is Stuttering John, because you're an expert in the field, is Stuttering John a drug to 40 to 60-year-old men on internet? Go! Oh, 100%. I'm trying to weed myself off of myself. It, it's, it's Me very too. difficult. Yes. It's, it's so hard. It's so oh. addictive. And I, I will say this about John. I actually just got an invite from Shuli. I'm going to probably hop on with those guys in a little bit because they're, they're doing three or four shows. Oh, I see how it is. I see. No, we'll get you out of here. Get no, going. I'll be here as long as you need me to be here. That's fine. But uh, but everyone's addicted to Stuttering John. All right. And the problem is with Stuttering <laughs> John is that now he's leaning into it so much that he's uh, his self-awareness is makes it less fun so he's yes. trying to do bits now i just played it on my show the other day where he's pretending he didn't know that the camera was on yet and he's eating his chicken cutlet and he's chugging his mountain dew and he's fixing his green screen and so now he's trying to be the bit that we all think that he is and that's not fun we want no. to observe the monkey. We don't want the monkey to know there's a camera on them and they're trying to put on a show. Yes, the AI has become self-aware. Oh, no. Right, <laughs> right. So th- that's the part, and I'm trying to get away from performative, what I call performative John. Suttering John is now doing a thing where he's leaning into it and he's putting on this performance and he's acting like a fool and he knows we'll play clips of it and that's what he's hoping will happen. So I'm trying to look for the glimpses of reality. The things that happen where it's like, oh, no, this is the real stuttering John Melendez where he lets his guard down for a second and you realize what a total asshole he is and a terrible father and a terrible husband and I, I think today he had uh Vince the lawyer on they were talking about how he didn't pay child support for eight months and those are the yeah. things I'm interested in now because it's like yeah why are you such a piece of shit you you say you love your children but you don't pay child support for eight months like what what's yeah. that all about that's what that's I not even it. the game is the game is over when it comes to the kids I'll tell you why. And again, I'm only a beloved chat in this world. I don't yeah. cover this. This is only, I'm covering you, who's covering Blind Mike, who's covering this. I'm like three steps away. Leave me alone, trolls. But I will say this. When you put up 
Dear Lord, I hope your children are as awful as mine were because they were different. And I had to, I had to deal with that different. I had to. I didn't protect them. I had to deal with it. I was the, the narcissism there is so deep. It's like, it's like the crust. Oh, like we're just on the crust. But no, John's narcissism is at the core. It's not the crust. It's at the core. What you're explaining right now, for people who don't know, is that Rocco Burrow, who plays Tukey and El Harible, was in Atlantic City and got an amazing question into John with the camera on. Has your son ever queefed in your face? And so, the irony is he ran away like a queef was in his face. Hey, oh, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Very good. And yes, so, thank you. So Rocco has children, and so now John is wishing that they'll be gay in order to... <laughs> like his kids. Like right. his... No, he's like gay. No, 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 trans. Like, I have one that's gay that's real bad, but that one that's trans, oh my God, I lost everything. Yeah, he wants, he wants Rocco punished the way that he was, it seems like, by <laughs> wishing... He prayed to God that they would be gay, and it's just like, John, this is a terrible look for you. Your children would hate this. What are you doing? <laughs> I would pose this, that you and Craig are more liberal than John when it comes to this. Yes. That's how crazy we're like. The spectrum is all weird in a pretzel now. Holy shit. I totally anyway. agree with you. John likes to pretend that he's this Democrat and this liberal and let bygones be guy bygones. But then every time he wants to insult another man, he calls him a woman's name. He said that yes. I drink my beer effeminately. He said that the fact that I have wood paneling shows that I'm gay. It's like the, these are all insults in John's mind. Being gay is not an insult, John. It's no, exactly. What's wrong with uh, you? Exactly. And when and you live in Rochester and you're saying this, like imagine hearing that with an LA ear. You hear that right. and you're like, you walk outside and you're like, six of my nine neighbors are gay. Like if they hear this, if they heard, if I play John too loud, I'm getting lynched in this city. I'm telling <laughs> yeah, no, you, the no game off is killing me. And for a liberal dude, he's gonna get me killed. Stop it, John! Stop it! You're this gonna is get the me killed. Demon, we're talking about. Yeah, you're gonna get you the demon killed. The I'm like, no, stay away, stay away. They're like, we uh, like the Satanism, but you can't be bashing <laughs> gays over here. We don't approve yes. that. Yes, yeah. oh, uh. Anyway, we're not talking about him. We're talking about how you talk about Blind Mike. Talk about him. Isn't this fun? Here we go. All right. Uh, you kind of turned into a meat shield today for Blind Mike, which I always love because he's always like, I can't see. You're my shield. Oh, I love it. I've been to shield many times. I'll be your shield forever, Blind Mike. Everyone, someone's child. That was a very weird sip. I'm starting to agree with Stetcher. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Uh, every step. You're still red from yelling before, too. When does that blood leave your face? Yeah, All right, here we go. What's crazy is Keanu is virtually the same age as John's oldest. Uh, Keanu is who? Uh, it's uh, someone's wife. So it's actually, uh, actually uh, Mike misspoke. It's Gino Bisconti's fiance. Yeah. Oh, lovely okay. woman i've hung out with her multiple times she's she's great her and gino are great yeah, she's very attractive and he's very old oh i don't know what's going on. he must have a 13 inch pipe yeah, congratulations gino so mm -hmm. i think um <laughs> he paused and said john melendez is son he had to think about it there we go treacherous grounds i know so they're basically the same age so i don't know if carl said that your daughter looks like baba booey that's Something you should talk about for three years, but Keanu's mom should just fucking get over it, you know? That was, that was a very cute way of saying something, but making it Carl's fault. I yeah, that. this is your fault, Carl. <laughs> well, John doesn't rant about me saying it. <laughs> I don't know what his no. daughter looks like. <laughs> All right, do you believe that you are being. Uh, that's a great point. He, uh, boss always makes good points and and so this show is not about the points the guest makes Blah, who cares about them it's about the points boss makes uh, what do you think about the points boss makes just right there just just shield no no he's right about that because what stuttering john likes to do is he likes to latch on to two or three three things that i've said and he repeats them ad nauseum and what's crazy about it is i w i did a show behind my paywall we were talking about stuttering john's amazing autobiography easy for you to say we're, oh, playing, the audio. That shit. <laughs> we're playing the audio version of that it just got me struck god damn it uh, i will post the god. yes i will post the link to the whole sh the whole book on my website thank you <laughs> but then i will deny it the next day 
Patreon.com slash who are these podcasts. We do, we've done 18 parts on this book. We finally finished it. In the very you're first still doing part, it? Oh my God. We, we you're finished still it. Doing it. We, we okay. finally finished it. The very first part, John dedicates the book to his children. He reads the children's name and he says, I dedicate this book to these kids. And I made a joke because I know that John gets very sensitive and butthurt about it. I go, wow, those kids sound like losers. I bet those kids are losers. They sound like a bunch of losers. I was in the room. That was behind my paywall three and a half years ago. John has played that clip on his show a dozen times or more. So if that was so detrimental, it was so terrible that I was calling his kids losers just generically, just as a throwaway thing, then wouldn't it be worse to play it over and over again on your show where your kids might actually be watching and maybe their friends are watching and maybe your family members are watching. Wouldn't that be way worse than me on Patreon saying that three and a half years ago, which proves that John uses this to try to act like he's a victim and it's, and I don't mind this, getting back to blind Mike, blind Mike saying, using me as the shield, uh, so, so to speak, the meat shield, you have the meat shield. I'm the meat shield. Sure. But he's right. He's making the right point here is that John yes. loves to bring that up as if I'm the problem when John's actually the one bringing it up and making his kids the center of the debate. Absolutely. And Carl, I got a big brain idea for you. Ah, uh, what if. Stuttering John realized I have nothing to leave these kids. Nothing. I'm just a shambles of ash and dust. The only thing I can do is create an atmosphere where they can come on YouTube and have a show. Come on down to the Dabbleverse, kitties. And he is creating this atmosphere for them so that the, when he croaks, uh, do you think that when John croaks, his kids don't have a fucking uh, audience here? I will follow every word they say about my dad. This is what happened. This is what really happened. For 30 years, I will follow that. So. That's a great point because you know that um, Adam Carolla. This is his legacy, baby. Adam Carolla's ex-wife has a podcast. Before they were divorced, she had a podcast. We're crying out loud, it's called. And so if Susanna had her own podcast, I think she'd have 20,000 live viewers. Oh, my God. Day. The super ch the, they talk about the super chat machine breaking. It would actually break it, YouTube. They'd be <laughs> yes. like, hey, we got a problem over here. It's broken. We have too much money. So, yes, that poor uh, woman had to work three or four jobs when John wasn't paying child support. If she just realized she could go on YouTube and goof on John, maybe her and Aaron go on there, they could all quit all of their jobs. They'd make so yes. much money. John is like, I've never, like, the fall from grace was one thing. It was like, oh my God, the biggest fall from grace in the history. But how he's handled the Dabbleverse is getting to the level of the fall from grace. We're close. We're almost there. And so it's like, how can you fail like that so many times? You know, maybe, you know, you, 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 maybe you're a failure. Anyway, I, Carl, well, you've been here 33 minutes. I know you got to get over to a more important network. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, would you like to play a quick game? Yes, I would. But can I make one point, though? Because yes. I did come here with a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Please, no. The floor is yours. All right. One, one more point, then I'll play a game with you. So Mike likes to point out, he says this a lot on his show. He said it again today, that Bert Kreischer sells out baseball stadiums. You know how popular Bert Kreischer is. He sells out baseball stadiums. He takes now, his shirt off. Yes. That, that sounds like Bill Burr. Like, wow, he's selling out baseball stadiums? <laughs> I saw Bert Kreischer in a baseball stadium. It was at Frontier Field, which is the AAA ballpark here in Rochester where the Red Wings play. And I have to say that what they do is they break it down so a third of the stadium seats are being used. Basically, they're setting up the stage on the first base, and just the people behind first base are there watching the show. And the reason he's able to do that, the reason why I went to the show, is because he gets guys like Big J Okerson and Dave Attell. It's a, a whole uh. comedy show. There's like a dozen comics on the show. So I just want to point out, and, and maybe Burke Kreischer sold out a baseball stadium once. He doesn't sell out baseball stadiums. Stop saying that. He's not that popular. No, and I've never laughed at one word that is flown from his breathing tube. I don't know if that's what a comedy is supposed to be, uh, but apparently just like some people buy music but don't really like it, you know, most people go look at the charts. What is that? Most people are the same with comedy. Like, just get me through existence. Don't make it exciting. I, I, I've already told this story, but I'll tell it again. It's been a while. So Dave Attell goes up and then Burt Kreischer is after him. And it was so disappointing because David tells it at 10 minutes. He goes, all right, I got to get off. You guys want to see Bert? I I'm going to go. I'm like, no, no, come back. <laughs> so then Bert comes up 
and repeats the last two jokes he heard David Tell do, and everyone's dying laughing. It's just like, if you're just going to do David Tell's fucking routine, bring him back up here. I don't want to hear you do it. Yes, yes. Interpretation. Just have the band play, like five bands play the one song over and over and over again. Right, yes. Then you can finally do an award and be like, they played it the best. Then awards actually mean something because they were playing different songs. How do you judge that? So oh, yeah, I think we agree on this, Carl. Are you ready to play a game? Let's play it. Let's do it. Yes, it's time we do it. Carl Hamburger and Big Titty Fry Lady. Here's today's Blind Mike trivia as a young preteen. So, Carl, real quick, there are no punishments if you lose. Uh, Coming here is punishment enough. So you've already paid the punishment. So this is just fun. All right. So big titted fry lady and Carl, uh, you are going against each other because I know the answer. She doesn't. Neither does Carl. But this is about Blind Mike. So dig deep in your head about your information. Do you know Blind Mike? How well do you know Blind Mike? She just met him weeks ago. You've known him for years. Or at least have watched him for years. Let's see who can win the trivia. All right, go. Carl Hamburger and big titted fry lady. Here's today's blind. Hold on, where is Big Titty? Turn your camera on. You can get on here. Get, show the tits. Get on. Are you asleep? Oh, DJ Electrify right. here. <laughs> uh, there she can is. I, uh, can I ask a question of DJ Electrify? Yes. Do you like being known as the Big Titty woman on the show? Girl, this... do you know what's going on here? Yeah, I don't make it up. I asked her the first time I met her, why is your fry face so small? And she said, because my tits. I have a, I have a small computer and I have to be very far away from it because the tits are so big. I didn't make this up. She told me that. And so now I'm just spreading the Ruba. Yes. It was a They're joke, so big. though. It was a joke. So. Uh, well, well, and then we, when, then we came to learn, what, are your, what is your cup size, please? And for the audience, please. I'm blushing. What is your, I know, I see you're red. What is your cup size? Tell us now. You're wasting time. He has to get to a better show than us. It's 40s. Thank you. Thank you. 40s. It doesn't bother thank you, Carl. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes. yes. 40s. <laughs> Why do you think I focus on it so much? Yes. At, what, at what point do you get to E? I'm, I'm like, a, I'm one of these idiot guys who doesn't understand how bra sizes work. I'm like, why oh, are there four it's Ds? A G. It's a G. It's a G. Okay. Yeah. Kakara, you don't understand. She was a nurse and she has like three bodies. She killed people because she changed their blood or reached over and grabbed a cup and those tits just drowned them. Ugh, that's why so, she ain't working anymore. Can I make a quick suggestion? Because you keep saying this show wasn't very big and it's not very popular and all this stuff, deprecating stuff. Rather than have her as French fries, why not just have her in a bikini top? Did you see what April Imholt was wearing the other day? Can we get oh, that Carl. going on? Like this uh, show could be much bigger. Oh, Carl, I'm a, I'm a thousand miles ahead of you. It's already <laughs> been put into our Russian designer, and we're just waiting for the war to end. God damn Ukraine! Would you just sign a peace treaty? Our goddamn <laughs> Russian artist is amazing. We can't use him because he's embargoed. Uh, why do you think Hagrid has no legs in his three? Anyway, okay, we know we got to get you out of here. Let's get back All to right, the game. All right, Carl Hamburger and Big Titty Fry Lady. Here's today's Blind Mike trivia. As a young preteen. What was one of Blind Mike Geary's favorite bands? Is it number one, Everclear? Is it number two, oh, good. Simon choice. and Garfunkel? Is it number three, The Foo Fighters? Is it number four, Good Charlotte? Or finally, is it number five, A Tribe Called Quest? All right, I need your answer now. Carl, I'm sure you would agree that the tits should go first. Yes. <laughs> tits? Tits. All right, tits. What you got? I'm going with uh, Foo Fighters. Oh, she's got Foo Fighters. Now, why? What do you know about Blind Mike that would make you choose Foo Fighters? Is it because he's not can't see, so he's got extra hearing? So maybe the frequencies of the uh, '90s grunge guitars. What, what is your reasoning? I don't know. I like him, and so I'm just. I think he would like him too. It's a psychic. Oh, okay. Thing. All right. Well, let's lock her in. All right. She is now locked in. Carl. All right, What's so I've, talk, I've tried to talk to Mike about music because you would think nice. a blind guy would be way into music. I, I'm a musician. I'm into music. He doesn't give a fuck about music. He does not care about it. So oh, we're like, we're the same, Carl. We're exactly the same, except I am way better at broadcasting. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> all right. This is about you. It's about your guests for once, all right? Heck, right? So I know it's not Simon and Garfunkel because you'd have to actually like music and appreciate good harmonies to understand why that. He's correct. Is yes, them. he's I correct. Know it's yes. Not them. Oh and, yes. And it, it could be like a good Charlotte, obviously, but I'm going to go with Tribe Called Quest because I think people who don't appreciate music like rap, I'm going to go n number five. Oh. Tribe Called Quest. Oh, you picked a battle with me. All right. No, 
Tribe Conquest is amazing. But they let's are. see what the answer is. Let's everyone, here we go. Everyone put in the chat real quick. You know, I know Carl needs to leave because he's got a better show to go to. But I, hey. I, I, let me just point out, Everclear is one of my least favorite bands of all time. That band I was in an Ever I was in Heroin Girl video under the Burnside Bridge in Portland. I was dancing with a hat on. I put it on my page. How dare you say that? That's so good, except he always went, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he said yeah so many times. Okay. Say no yes. once. Just say no once, Everclear. Anyway, here we go. Are you excited? Everyone's excited. Who is it? I am. Is it, is it hip hop? Is it Foo Fighters? Does, what is Blind Mike like? Oh, and I got this from his one of his best friends. Oh, yes. I got so many moles in that camp, Blind Mike. You will never root him out. Here we go. And the correct answer to who was a favorite band of a young, dumb, and full of cum Mike Geary is... Number four. Good yeah! shot. Oh, you oh, should have went with your That's instinct. Right. I thought the about it. You should have went with your instincts, Carl. I, he has I no love there. of music. Yes. He threw it out there, yep. You said he hates music, so obviously he can't like Good Charlie because they're amazing. Oh, no. Here, what? let's see what Jerry says about them. Twins who married two brainless reality stars. God really did curse you. Didn't he blind Mike? No, he cursed him <laughs> twice. <laughs> Thanks for playing, and we will see you next week. Bye. Yeah, so goodbye, bye, Mike. Hey, that was fun, yes? Heck we right. learned can something. You, can you name a good Charlotte song? <laughs> um, um, uh, I, I just think of the fucking twins that kiss each other when I think of good Charlotte. The ones that are now, <laughs> I think of the ones that are now fucking when I think of the good Charlotte. And so, you know, Blind Mike must have been into some crazy shit. I can, na I can name their best song. It's called Small Things. Mm. Oh, well, maybe that is a, th a theorem for their, you know, the whole thing. Wait, wait, that, in was, on that was a joke. No one knows <laughs> a, a good Charlotte songs. No one's ever heard of that band. Stop. I it. definitely no. don't. No, but everyone knows them from marrying celebrities. And that's what you do. You don't write, Carl, we tried for 30 years to write good songs. Where did that get us? Like nowhere. What you do is you just marry a dumb cunt. Oh my God, it's so great. Because here's the thing, Carl. Hold on well, a second. Ladies, you... you come a long way. The ladies come a long way. This is like TMZ, I feel like I'm on all of a sudden. You're talking about celebrity <laughs> gossip? I don't know the good Charlotte married <laughs> fucking celebrities or Just reality stars. What the fuck you're yeah. talking about? And then, then one of them married the Richie one, and the other one married another one, and they were just like both bleh. And their music was with us, so I was like, okay, that matches. Oh, no, well, that's Richie. retarded. Yes, and Blind Mike was like, are they making CDs together? Is Does Nicole Richie have a single with good Charlotte? He asked someone that question in his life. I guarantee it. So everyone, go Google because all a lot of the audience is like, "Who? Go listen to Good Charlotte." Oh, and that's that is what God said. I'm going to take your sight, but I'm going to give you extra ears. And what are you going to use them for? This you just wasted it anyway. Carl, you are amazing. I would like to thank you for coming on the show tonight. Was it fun? It's yes. like a different show. It's not a. It's, it, we're breaking down Mike, not the, not a blind Mike project. Who cares? It's just one show. We can do every single show of his, every single one except that. I find that one. It's disappearing. I don't know what it is. And Carl, I will always remember you like this. Always. Yeah, it's a good mm -hmm. look for me. <laughs> sure. That will be uh, half a John show tomorrow. Uh, just this picture. John, here, hold up. <laughs> yeah, Get a close up, John. You know? <laughs> You're very well, tweet. You know who you look like? You look like that guy in 90 Day Fiance. I got to get a picture. He's married to this Mexican guy, and they live in Mexico? You know what I'm talking about. Look at that mouth. It's open for a dick. Shut they know that dick. <laughs> got you. Got him. I got him. Oh, oh I'm going to hold on. Hey, please. Oh, you're going to leave before I find that picture. Uh, DJ Electrify, go find that picture. 90 day old Beyonce. It looks exactly like this. Look at the bottom guy. It looks like that. He's married to like a 20-year-old Mexican. He's stolen from his family. That was cool. Shut the fuck up, asshole. Uh, suck my cock. <laughs> Warranted. Warranted. I think that was warranted. Anyway, Carl, go to that better show and tell them how much fun you had at a worse show because this is what we do. You gotta touch the streets, man. Get back on the streets. Well, you faggy hair. I love it. Please. Heck right. Thanks so much for having me on the show. It was a lot of fun being on here. I just want to tell people about uh, WATPLive.com. Yes. We have a live show in Largo, Florida that's near Clearwater in Tampa, March 22nd. It's a Friday night. It's at a very beautiful theater. We'll be there with the Revenge of the Sis guys. You know those guys at all? Revenge of the Sis? Are those, are those the guys with the hair at the top? No. Because if they are, I'm there!
<laughs> Definitely not. But anyway, WATP Live, uh, come check it out. We'd love to see all you guys. We'll be hanging out. We have a whole live show. We do this whole thing in a theater with the uh, the video clips and Stuttering John and everything else. So we'd love to see you down there. Check it out. Thank you very much for having me, guys. Thank yes, you thank so you much, so much. Carl. Have a wonderful night. It is a privilege to have, honestly, the best podcaster I have ever seen. I wouldn't be here without him. Get out of here now. That's all you get. Get out of here. What, you think you're going to get more than that? Get out. He was gone before I removed him. Oh, that's a pro. That's a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I beat him to it, but then he beat me to looking at him, laughing at me beating him to it. No, oh, yeah, that's a pro right there. That's a that's actually better than beat me to it. Because I looked at him, he's like, oh, he's gone. He beat me. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Oh, anyway, he's that really was cool. fun. I like yes. Carl. Yeah, he's very cool. Carl is very cool and very gay. That hair. Anyway, here we go. We're just like back to. He's, he's awesome. Thank you, Carl, for coming on. Also, don't talk about the kids he hates. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, so terrible. <laughs> Again, we are not covering that man who maybe has a speech impediment. We're not doing it. Watch him talk once. It doesn't happen. But the thing where uh, Carl said something about John's kids that was technically like personal mm -hmm. is he said something to the effect of, he said that John's daughter looks like Gary Delabate, which I imagine is not a company. Essentially, what Carl is saying is, I don't jerk off to your daughter. Now, that is... <laughs> uh, you don't think that's a sample? Here John, we go. apparently more offensive. <laughs> Everyone, hold on. Uh, Timestamp is uh, 40, 46 minutes. Yes, uh, go back to 46 minutes and you'll get that one. Here we go. <laughs> we provide a service for Him one. saying, I jerked off to your daughter, and now... Oh, all right, that's 46, 45. I'm going to jerk go. off to you. <laughs> you know what, Army Major? I want to take your wife. Well, that did not win Clip of the Week, though. Oh, no. So stick around to the end, and we will show you uh, the Clip of the Week. Although, I don't think I heard that one. So that one will probably won. And I'm going to spread her on the dining room table. <laughs> hey, don't you understand that Ray DeVito is someone's child, too? I mean, it's a weird, deformed child that probably should have been, you know... But hey, it's someone's child. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. John, are you saying that you were on the internet and you saw someone's getting balls, someone's balls getting busted, and you thought it'd be fun to join in? Wow. John, are you saying you saw some harmless schmuck getting mocked on the internet and you thought it might be funny to also crack a few jokes at his expense? <laughs> it's not pointed John, at me. This is why I wish Carl was here. We had fun, but I would have asked him, like, if this John would have met that Carl, I don't think we'd be here right now. I think I'd be like working at a goddamn gas station or some shit. I mean, you can, still you know, still getting the, still getting the pussy, still doing all the drugs. You know, but, but, but seriously, where would we all be if that didn't happen? That Ray might not like that, and Ray is someone's child. No, Ray is uh, clearly born of a seed. He was planted in the earth thousands of years ago. This man is not human. Hey, right. by the way, all right, we can relax a little bit. Now that he's gone, let me please remind you of some of the fun things. Please, be a super chat $20 or more, or get four memberships. Please put in the chat what you would like, Blind Mike, or Craig has to say. It's amazing. Would you like to hear an example? The people that are like, you know, new here yes. didn't hit it at the beginning. Yes, isn't it amazing? Here's what it's like. Hold on, where is it? There is what it's like. Here it is. It's like, oh, hi. Kriggers. Isn't it great to watch Gearbox while simultaneously putting each other's sausage in our mouth? Forming what will become to be known as the greatest perfect human 69 to have ever existed. Now that's amazing. Love the it. most perfect 69 ever. Craig, what are your thoughts on that? This is another one. I am a man known for some bad choices. But Metallica is right above the rotting corpses in my walls. What? Oh, God. Since I lost the fat, I need more insulation. Oh, that makes sense. You know, when you lose the so fat. <laughs> yeah, you need, and, and, and people, he's not gay. Gay. I mean, no. he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. He's blind. He's not gay. All right. Here we go. Let's Speaking see. of super chats, we have a few. No, we don't. Don't lie. We don't do. lie. Hold on. No, don't lie. Okay, now I'm ready. All right, go ahead. You ready? All right. What? See you in Largo, Carl. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to it while he was here. Oh, you're Thank fired! You so much. Thank you. Oh. We got a super chat. All right, I'm sorry about that, Val. Which 
<laughs> we got a lot going on. Oh no, we got some more. Oh, Rasta tips world order. You are a man of honor, Carl. Cheers, We're all high whores cry. at the end of the day. We're all whores at the end of the day. We yes, we are. Well, oh, like thank you. It is. I did a remix for you. Oh, it is frosted. F T W O. <laughs> yeah. uh, fuck this world order right in the head while you hold on to those frosted tips. It's amazing. All right. Hello. Go. This one's not going to be good. I can tell. Here we go. We're all whores at the end of the day. Oh, finally proof Rocco is not hack right. Rocco's voice is gone this weekend. Oh, I'm sorry, Rocco. That's terrible for you. I'm sure you will be able to code it with all the money you're getting, you bastard. Uh, congratulations. And if you read this one too, I'll let you read the one about the titties. Uh, you, you love saying it so much. We're all whores at the end of the day. Nimrod. Yeah, that's a hard one. That's a that's an F Mary kill of titties. <laughs> I think the most famous titties are Wawa. But the better titties are DJ Electra. Yes. yes oh, uh. thank you. Unless she sends me a unless she sends me a picture of them, then I'll share them with you all. And she wins by a mile. All right. Woohoo. All right. And please, people, remember that you can also gift memberships on our channel. We do that here. All you got to do is go to the pin chat, click that, and it turns on your memberships. Well, you got to click the little thing that turns it on, and then we'll have some nice people. I hope that we will smash. Uh, the, you know, this, this is amazing. Anyway, let's watch some more. Why, why would you say Kevin Brennan is hot? That's weird. I don't know what that means. But apparently John said it. I heard that where he was like, they must have really beautiful kids. Oh, no. I sound like a creep. But what I'm saying is Kevin's a pretty handsome guy. His wife is really hot. Therefore, they must have beautiful kids. I talk all day about the handsome men I mean. Well, that's so weird. <laughs> what is going on there? The question I had for uh, for Carl, if we were still, you know, if he didn't run away from us, was, is, is John gay? What's going on there? Like, nothing wrong with being gay, but he hates gay people so much. It makes me ask the question. Is John gay? He really he, hates he, gay people. He envies people so much that he just... Oh, so a pure narcissist. That he doesn't so have. A, he gotcha. Has You're to right. You're right. About. You're 100%. Okay, hold on, hold on. She wins. She wins. She's 100% right. John is a narcissist. If, if if fucking geckos naked on the street while Highland Crack got him a higher position in society, he'd do it. He has no morals. He'll just do it. But we're not talking about him. We're just talking about how uh, Carl would have talked about how Blind Mike talks about him. Right, right. And, and the thing is, John is a thief of our hearts, but also our beers. <laughs> you gotta protect the beers around him. No, he's gonna roof him. He's gonna drink him. Some super chatter goes, uh, yeah, hey, I was in Atlantic City and uh, I bought a couple Coronas for myself because I didn't want to keep getting back up. I buy two Coronas, I put them down on the table. I go to grab my second one and I realize it's gone. I look over and John is drinking it. <laughs> now, when I saw this super chat, I expected John to be like, this person's lying. Yeah. What he said was, so many people were buying me beers. How was I supposed to know that wasn't for me? What a fucking <laughs> so, entitled uh, much? Yes, and then and the question I have here is John a kleptomaniac? Like, does he just pick up shit and he's like, that's mine? That's mine. Oh, there's so many around. I, there was five cars in the parking lot. I thought one was mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, all right. All right. Carl's not here. But I will ask you this a chat and DJ Electra. Who of the two has a better laugh? It's hard to tell. I've been listening to them both for a long time. They have great laughs. Carl has the best laugh. Carl's the best laugh in the dabble verse. When Carl cracks up for real, my dick gets hot. Oh, he's just a great laugh. <laughs> I yeah, it's a good laugh. Attention, darn it. No, it's a great laugh. All right. But who are these two men? Uh, one man and, you know, kind of a man has the better laugh chat. One for the blind Mike, two for the Kriggers. <laughs> <laughs> all right what do we got people what do you got did you like fight you saw blind mike oh, okay. i love that yeah, laugh. oh Kregos is a little scary is what you're saying i think i agree with you uh, it's scary Kregos. Uh, you you do not uh, uh, send the uh 
vibe of, you know, I'm getting out of this house alive. Oh, no, it's the opposite. <laughs> Gregus, I'm sorry on this one. My mic has a better laugh. All right, wasn't that fun? Yes. We, we made it through the trivia. We made it through car. I didn't think we... Oh, I didn't get to play a Minnie Manson. But that's okay. That's okay. Mm. It, it was, that was a long time. Minnie Manson, I tried to get you played to Carl, who could get you in front of a bunch of people, even though we do the job better. He's got more people. And so that's what matters in this world. Why are you laughing at that? Don't laugh. It makes what? it sound novel. Okay, good. Okay. Don't laugh at that, though. Okay. <laughs> it makes it sound like I'm not believable if you're laughing. And how dare you? Oh, all right. We have a lot of fun stuff left if you think, holy shit. All right. Here's what we're going to do, people. We're going to do the whole gearbox. And we're going to move the uh, Sunday night movie to Tuesday. That is DJ Electrify's new night. What? Tuesday night. See you next uh, Tuesday. Is that okay with you, DJ Electrify? Yeah, of course. That's fine. Yeah, so that way. Even though I really am looking forward to watching the Santa and the Alien movie. Oh, I, I, I watched a lot of it. And I got to say, there's a lot of sexual chemistry going on between Santa and the Martians. Oh, it's, oh it's, really? it's, it's, yeah, it all, I got, I got to say, like, I'm surprised that's not in like the gay archives. It's just so much gay. Oh, so, yeah, so I, we'll bring Southern Santa, see what he has to say about that. But that will be Tuesday, members only. We'll change it after this. Because I got like a lot more stuff, and I'd rather go over this stuff than just watch a movie. Let's work, you know? Let's, Definitely. Let's do it. Yes, let's earn those subs. Please subscribe. Smash that like button. Again, hit the subscribe and smash the like button. That's what we're here for. We're entertaining you. Just do that little thing. And then if you really like it, you know, we got super chats and memberships. And the great thing about memberships is that we do an original show uh, twice a month. It's called The Gongoozlers. Yes, and it's a bunch of little characters. This is all good fun. Right? You have fun with the Gongoozlers. Don't you, DJ Electrify? Isn't it a fun oh, yeah. show? Yes, yeah. it's very fun. And we also do members only after shows. That's what's happening this Thursday. And this Thursday after Puzzle Box, when I say we got some fun, we have a female roast battle. But they're oh not roasting God. each other. They're not We're roasting not really each other. We're not roasting each other, are no, we? It's a no, I am challenging. Can you Christina Catalano? No, you're going to bring the road. All right, everyone. Yes. It's a comedy. It's a, comedy. Up. It's a female what. comedy night. The so Steven basically, it's a too. it's a drama night at, at, at Hacker Studios, remember? Because it's. Oh, it's, please. <laughs> hey, oh. She's already won. She's already up one point. So, Christina Catalano, you better gear up. You better call Mike Morris. Right. Anyway, so Thursday night, we will do. A, a, a female, uh, not a roast battle, but a comedy battle. Because everyone tells me that females aren't funny in comedy, and I want to put that to the test. I think they are. I laugh at her every day, intentionally and unintentionally, both. Yes. And so, usually you know, when I fall down. Yes, yes, it will be fun. All right, everyone. Before I get to uh, the blind rewind, because that's an amazing uh, segment. What did you think that Craigers and Blind Mike thought of the show today? Isn't that important? Don't you think we should ask them? Don't you think we should be like, hey, what did you think of the show you did today? Yeah. Well, I did. Blind Mike said no, but I'm going to get him. Oh, he denied me on his own. He was very mad about me getting Carl, I think. <laughs> no bullshit. Uh, and so Carl will be back next week. He might be a permanent co-host. <laughs> anyway, here we go. What did Craig think of the show today? You need Craig. What did you think of today's show? My review of Blind Mike Project. <laughs> his camera got really bad. And what his, happened? I don't know. What's, your, what's going on with your teeth? Your teeth look normal on the normal camera. This camera's a teeth killer. Well, is that because the, the, the children come out of the closet after the show and you gotta hide the, the aspect ratio? Come on, what's going on, Craigus? Today. Where do I begin? Gearbox, Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. I wouldn't miss it. Neither should you. <laughs> what a turkey! Craigers, what did you think of today's show? Oh, That's all he's he trying had to say. That's all he had. That's oh all he had. He was, it was so was... funny in chat, though. Oh, my God. Andrea, you were a superstar in chat. <laughs> Andrea, yes, we have a bit of Andrea coming up. But, but before that, people, 
I, so I came to Blind Mike a year ago. Uh, you know, I'm not like a 10 year. I'm like, I'm like new kind of still. And so I think it's our job to, to, to study him. Right? Uh, don't you think it's our job to study Blind Mike? So I want to all... learn more about him. Yep. Yes. So a uh, look at some early Blind Mike and Craig. Uh, sometimes Craig. Sometimes another guy. Who's that guy? Um, but they're very, they're less polished. And there's so much sexual tension. So oh my much. God. What? <laughs> All right, people. What we are going to watch here is two men in a room. Just a tiny room. One foot away from each other. Talking. And Blind Mike can't see Craig. So he can just say anything. But Craig is like right there. So it's very, very, there's a lot of homosexual tension going on. Wouldn't you say? I would say. Um, would I just picked out one video from their collection, their archives, if you will. And it was random that this was the one that I got. But I think it's gold, so. Yes, yes. Never have you seen two grown men in a room, one foot away from each other, talking about another man jerking off in a room in front of other people with such a level of expertise that these two men have. This is enormous. Hey, it is amazing. Effects, all the sound effects. Everyone watch out, Craig. Also is enormous. Oh my God, before picture Craig. But also, watch how uncomfortable Craig gets. Blind Mike can't see how uncomfortable he gets. So it gets amazing. Everyone, some early Blind Mike and something that we like to call the Blind Rewind. Here you go. Oh my god, we lost 15 people. That's like, how about, where'd you go? Fuck you, Shuli! Oh, here we go. <laughs> Pretty good AI blind mic, huh? That's yeah, very good. Oh, look, 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 look at what's a pat on the back. Uh, very good job, Fry Lady. Yes, your tits didn't get in the way on this one. So that's the biggest failure so far. All right, so far as we here we are in 2021, middle of COVID. These two men sitting a foot apart in a hotel room. In oh, no. Oh, I don't know where that is, but it sounds like a place where a porn is about Canada. to happen. Yeah, I think it's Canada. No, okay, so we're outside of the United States. Anything can happen up here, Kriegers. Oh, those hands look very soft, Kriegers. Let's see what happens. We found Pickle Park. Yeah, we cannot find it. And, and what they're covering here is, you remember Jeffrey Tubin from CNN when he jerked off in front of those ladies? Yeah, that's what they're talking about, but not he really what they're talking call, about. And he didn't know that he was still on the call and they were on a break and he started just wanking his... Mm. Yes, yeah. But it, but it appears th these two use that as a metaphor to hit on each other just constantly oh it's so gross to be i mean i mean i'm sorry it's natural and beautiful i'm not like john i think it's a natural and beautiful thing exactly. oh boy your kids are fucking gay fair, fair. <laughs> what is that what is that i guess we should have known they wouldn't just advertise themselves like hey gay sex here <laughs> you know oh well, there's actually a gay park well I, yeah i assume that's what it is i thought it was pickleball park i think there's both I think there is both a pickleball field oh. and a home. Look at how wide and fucking heavy that head is. Oh, my God. Craig, you're going to live wow. like 10 years longer. Congratulations. He does. Yeah. He looks so much different now. Yeah, this is like three Craig versions ago. Yes, yes, just stop it now or you're going to be like a, a fucking uh, Al Roker situation where your head is a little lollipop. Stop it. Of hand and suck jobs. Oh, let's, let's. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Now up here, that's one thing is like up here, I can almost understand why there would be a secret gay truck stop. Yeah. Oh, can you? Oh, uh, tell us more. Why? I've wondered that like around the country. Why? the? He's like, no, I've seen everything. I've seen the lay of the land. I've seen the men. I've seen the drugs. I've seen the truck stops. There's yeah. no reason. Let me tell you. Oh, blind Mike. I, I did not know this about you. It's amazing. It's still exist because it's like everyone's cool with gay sex now like hey <laughs> what fuck away you know i think it's just for politicians that lean right lab rat says i agree with him but i what you're saying that like three inches from craig <laughs> like getting their dick sucked mikey <laughs> i mean I, I, i'm saying that in real life but not three inches from a ginger who might grab my cock in some sort of feeble attempt to become a man for once 
I know, but I, what I'm saying is you can just... I love you, Gregors. Hold on. Gregors! Do it in, you know, just stop into a gay bar or something. You can do it anywhere. Mm. Now, you know? That's how you know he's comfortable with his sexuality is because he could talk about gay sex in a hotel room alone with one other man. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. That is the rules. You're defining the rules of sexuality. Yes, and please, you're not wrong. That's true. They, they've <laughs> brick and mortar establishments for these things now. <laughs> and if you look at Craig's eyes, he's staring at him very intently. It's almost <laughs> like he's hungry. Nice little muffin over there. Little muffin top. Nice little tightly shaved muffin top over there. Who I'm sure is very well shaved down because you don't want to have to wipe too long as a blind man. So, you know, he looks like a natural hairy man. Maybe like a natural bear turned otter. Turned twig. There we go. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> we should have put out shirts. Mike Geary rainbow shirts or something. Just the face adds to the thrill. It's hot. It's almost like a painted on sort of beard. Yeah. I buy that. Got a good beard. And, and you know, he's got a giant cleft chin thing. Well, I have one too. You know, I have a little thing. I have a butt chin. He has a butt chin. He is of the, and you, you're both of the butt chin variety. Yes. And I, yeah. I can understand that. That's Although true. I'm a pessimist, so I don't know if that would work for me. That's why, you know, I'm always a, so like, oh, it's got to be. He's like, oh. You're not going to come. No matter how hard it suck you, Craig, in the 69 position, you're not going to come. He's such a pessimist. Gargoyle on the other side of this wall. Glory holes are tight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Craig. That is, hold on. That is impressing a B. Hold on, impressing the B. There we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> I would never think positive. I would always think there would be like a, a some sort of trap for my penis in a glory hole. I would think I'm definitely getting hurt. <laughs> I had a question here for uh, uh, Carl. I said, uh, have you ever had an experience in a glory hole that you would like to talk about? So, God damn, it's too bad. Definitely herpes. Or some Demon, have you ever had an experience in a glory hole? Chop it right oh. No, I need, to, oh, I need to see those eyes. Oh, I need to see the connection. I need the connection. Uh, oh, yeah. Demon's connect. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I just I need to see the face that I'm going to splurge into. I, I don't want to think, I don't want to think as my high school teacher. Oh, my mom, you're not telling me. You come back from the dead. That is the worst. Like, I can't watch that. Like, that scene in Shawshank when he says, I'm going to hit you in the head with a crowbar and it'll clamp down your jaw, whatever the fuck he says. Yeah. Like, that. Mike is thinking of the scene from the guy that's getting the dick sucked. Uh, I was always thinking of it from the guy who's got to fucking clamp down on it. He's like, God damn, that guy's got to suck my dick. He's going to bite it. Fuck him. Uh, I never thought of him in the other point of view. <laughs> okay. Just image. Ooh, really makes me cringe. <laughs> yes. Did you hear that? Those noises are the noises that they make in an hour when the cameras come off. Why didn't you just go? We could put a rainbow flag behind this thing and just come out. You could be the first blind or the second blind gay Mike. Oh, that's why they don't come out. All right, here we go. I agree with that. I found now last night. <laughs> last night. Grab your balls and be a man, Blind Mike. No, just kidding. Oh, just kidding, Blind Mike. Yeah, his Can we get through one full sentence, too many things, maybe? <laughs> no. no. Uh, some Thanks. other elements that made it awkward. But I think, in general, it has been awkward, I feel like, for us doing a show in the same room together. Have you noticed that? Well, because it's just like, yeah, I don't know where to look. Usually, I just kind of stare right there, and you're about here. It's weird. Most yeah, I feel like I have to impress you physically. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see how much I can lift? <laughs> I can put this whole table above my head. <laughs> So there, uh, there's been, there's been. Speaking of uh, gay parks, I guess, <laughs> or masturbatory <laughs> parks, more like it. Uh, Jeffrey Tubin is back in the news. Yes, he is. I found, you have. Oh, yeah. this is before you went to Segway School. <laughs> oh. Not heard this yet? I haven't. I'm excited. I found it very interesting. Is so it? Tubin is back on CNN, which is weird because they're acknowledging what he did, but so he's just back on the news now. Like, imagine if Tom Broca came and he's like, I'm sorry, I masturbated. <laughs> I <talk> <laughs> Hold on. B. Uh, here we go. <laughs> little girl. Yeah. But that's what, that's what Jeffrey Tubin has to do on CNN. So I guess we'll, we'll take a look here. <laughs> you were on a Zoom call with yeah. your colleagues from the New York. This feels like 10 years ago, but it was only two years ago. It's crazy. All right. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry I paused it, DJ Alex Pry. Okay. Magazine. Everyone took a break. 
for several minutes, during which time you were caught masturbating Ugh. on camera. Ugh. Uh, you were subsequently That's so awkward. Uh, <laughs> right next to each other. I will say this is probably more awkward than actually jerking off on Zoom in front of your coworkers. Jeffrey, what were you doing? You were masturbating. <laughs> like those newscasters, masturbating. You were manipulating yourself <laughs> on camera. Is that, is that oh. correct, Jeffrey? God, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. You were... You were playing with your member on camera, is that right? Manipulating <laughs> yourself is disgusting. I can't get past that. Your camera? I love how uncomfortable Craig gets. He's very, like, you almost see the goosebumps. <laughs> off the Zoom call. Now, that's not a defense. This was deeply moronic and indefensible, but... Well, literally just defended You just gave it. a defense, Jeff. It's indefensible, but here's the exact perfectly good explanation, actually. Here's my defense. Now I'll say what I'm supposed to say. But, uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but, I mean, come on. Who doesn't crank this stick once in a while? <laughs> Hold on. God damn it, Blind Mike. Stop it. There's so many quotables. Into a weird space. Well, that'd be something if we got off this broadcast and just started jerking off. Like, we face away from each other and we're still jerking off on this webcam. That was a real good... Yes, all right, people. We have our, we have our, uh, what is it? Uh, pay-per-view. Yes. <laughs> Craig and Mike jerk off. In, we'll call it the Blair Witch pay-per-view. They just jerk off in separate quarters of the room. Yes. The show. Thousand dollars each. I'm looking at you box eating down. Everyone's like, what the hell? So funny. Oh, the show is so good. Oh, oh. <laughs> People are really liking the show. <laughs> I will say, I've told Alba this a few times. His beautiful girlfriend, who is from another country, because that's what it takes to get a girl that beautiful. Huh. I saw a picture. I was like, what? I don't know if I mentioned Oh, really? I haven't seen a picture. No, once you do, you'll be like, what? And then you'll be like, oh, he's funny. He's young. But that Good one. Guy. It's just that one show. Oh my god, I can't mention it because they're not allowed. What is it called again? Oh, it's not found. But change that view. Oh my god, uh, those chairs are not good for the male stomach. Here we go. Mm, but there is a weird thing that my therapist does, where uh, he always. <laughs> what? Okay. This I haven't like heard this. Yes, let's go. That I have sex with Alba. Why? Like he bring he brings it up. I don't. Why? Like to where he goes. <laughs> uh, like I'll say something that I'm insecure about or whatever, and he's like, "Well, Alba's somewhere." I'm a tiny dick. Yes. With, she wants to make a home with. He wants to start a family. <laughs> Insinuating. Oh no. Yeah. Did he, did he just tell his therapist? I tell him something I'm insecure about. Uh, you know, it's not the size of your balls. <laughs> what are you telling him? You're insecure about? Blind Mike. No. You don't put that on the air. Oh, this is great. Oh, thank you, DJ Lecture Fight, for bringing this to my people. He went to his goddamn therapist and said his dick was small. I love you, Blind Mike. Yes. <laughs> it was just Better blind luck that I found this one. <laughs> oh, <yeah. What? laughs> kind of. Well, but I've put that out there as well. So uh, he is saying that in a way. Yeah. But like letting me know, like, well, don't think like that. Yeah. But he says, like, you know, this is someone that wants to start a family. That wants to. <laughs> oh. He always says that. Oh. <laughs> this is a 70 year old fucking guy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I guess. And he's like, you know, he brings it up all the time. Oh, that was like out of nowhere. Like, this is someone that wants to make love with you. Oh, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. This is someone that wants to have intercourse with you. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a woman that wants to let you inside her. She's a therapist. <laughs> and let you release your fluids. <laughs> This is a woman. No, stop laughing. This is a woman who unprotected. <laughs> he said, he said, as the therapist, he said, no, stop laughing. Stop like laughing his client, yeah. his client is dying laughing. Allow you right. to insert yeah. your member inside her and freely ejaculate. I hate this. So much. <laughs> I hate this. Craig, He's allowed you out. to express your love in liquid form. <laughs> <laughs> In liquid form. <laughs> That's disgusting. Now, does that comfort you, Mr. <laughs> Geary? Is that? <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That's the best tiny penis psychologist I've ever heard. Where can I sign up? Well, no, to be fair, I had to cut out part of it to make it short enough to do on this show. And yes. he did say that sex wasn't one of his problems that he was going to the therapist for. But even if he was, he probably wouldn't bring it up. 
Well, yeah, just because you have a micro penis sex ain't your problem. It's no, the other person's not. problem. <laughs> I think you're saying that Mike has a. Hey everyone, DJ Electrify put on the first episode of Gearbox that Mike has a micro penis. No, I that didn't. is balls. Oh, no, that I is didn't. balls, Come DJ on. Electrify. <laughs> Come on. But he does do that. And it makes, like, not that, but he does. It makes me weirded out where he, I'm like, stop. It seems like you're fantasizing my love life, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Are you you missing out, Doc? <laughs> This is something you need to tell us. She she gets you hard. She, rocks, she rouses you. She gets you excited. She, she does. She does. That, a, she does that thing you told me. About I want this doctor. You get aroused when she's in the room. Yes. <laughs> you get aroused when she gently licks your your ball. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! By my. You don't oh, hear him do, talk like this very often these days. No, no, but do you? Oh, I need to know that question because honestly, for me, it's a little weird. Uh, I don't like when they lick around the balls. I'm like, uh, that's, that's not for licking. <laughs> Ever so generally. I know they're sensitive. I make exception for fry ladies with big tits, but I'm just saying generally. But she does it just the right amount and she gets you off, doesn't she, Mike? Oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm wondering if anyone's just is tuning love. in. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and that expression when you ejaculate on her face. Oh, that is the greatest form of love. Do there you is. may have the most disgusting therapist voice I've ever heard in my life. I can't even look over there. He's like, it's so disgusting, and I'm so hard. There's nothing wrong with expressing your love in the sexual form, <laughs> in the form of raw sex. Does she manipulate you? <laughs> she manipulates you? Does she let you dominate her physically? <laughs> Does she bring out the whips? Yes, financially. Yeah, Craig is almost as red as fucking <laughs> Carl was. She may be the boss, but not in the bedroom. <laughs> How red was Carl? He's redder than me. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Isn't that red? He's him. redder than both of us. It's like, red. thank you, a show where I can finally binge a blind mic and he turned red. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we hit that. We hit the Carl algorithm. <laughs> That's your time to shine. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> this guy sucks. Yeah, it's not me. <laughs> it's my therapist. <laughs> it's very important to remember. <laughs> So, anyways, that's what Jeffrey Tubin's doing. <laughs> uh, Mike, have your meds affected your orgasms? <laughs> oh no, not at all. Luckily, <laughs> it's you like never a answer. Pulse over there. <laughs> it is like early blind. Mike was like, "Here, I'm giving it all to you. What do you want to know?" That was a big. That was the yep. uh, side effect that the doctor, the doctor mentioned. But no, uh, as powerful as ever. No, oh, these people are. Yes, you shoot as powerful as ever right into her, don't you? Uh, <laughs> oh, <silent> <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right folks if you didn't need it i'm hold on let me put it in the we, we this is the fact of the night every night we or every night we cover <laughs> blind mike we want to get a fact fact of the night we learned he liked good charlotte that was great yeah what did you did you also know he is yep I heard it. <laughs> he's a, yes. He's a, that's the fact of the night, everyone. Hey yo. Write it down in your books. It is a fact. Yes, he is. It might be on a quiz coming up. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You much of a noise guy when you ejaculate? Uh, it depends on if anyone's home. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> it's probably kind of weird for uh uh, I feel weird even saying her name in this context, so I'll say my partner. <laughs> oh, that's gross. That's way worse. <laughs> it must be strange for my partner. My meat pocket. I yes. just maybe don't like Mike's sexual talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither do I, and my therapist always tries to bring it up. <laughs> you ever thought of what it's like to be on the POV of the Zoom yes. call? <laughs> you, ever, you ever think about what it's like to get a hot load of your Zooms, Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs> I love the Jeffrey, did you all take a moment to consider what it's like to get a mouthful of Zoom from you? It's just him sweating on his webcam. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jeffrey, why did you spray your Zoom calls all over America's face? <laughs> <laughs> and that is something. Speaking of I hard have. decisions. <laughs> this unbridled early blind Mike. Oh, I love him. <laughs> just at the end, just. They lay it lay on the coming up next. And they bring someone else. <laughs> That's a good one, Craigers. Uh, Craig always throwing his fucking tags in there. You know, 
do it doing what Craig is do. The, oh, hold good on. one though. That's a Craig attack. Hashtag Craig attack. Uh, both publicly and privately, you know, we've covered a lot of political scandals and we've heard what I like to think of as the. Yes, but this was our first pull political <laughs> scandal, huh, Jeff? Hey. Ooh. hey I'd love if this lady was just making puns the whole time. Uh, yes. Amazing. Everyone, make sure you watch the Blind Mike Project on Sundays, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Oh my God, it's so early. I have to get up that early. Um, Worth it. But yes, go to their channel, subscribe. It's at Blind Mike Project. They have a great show, and um, yeah, definitely check yes. it out. Yes, they have many shows. Uh, 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 why are you laughing? It's a great show that they also do. Uh -huh. We didn't have enough didn't have enough time this week to pull a clip from that because oh my god, it's so hard putting together all these shows. But it's fun. Yeah, we have fun. We have fun doing it. All right, so. Also, some of the issues that he covered today, because we went over Stuttering John, but we're just a big advertisement for the show, so make sure you go watch the Blind Mike Project from today, where he also covers Brendan Schaub, Stephen Colbert, Tim Dillon, and our favorite, Coach HP, who will give you the five reasons that you will be a successful podcast to have millions of views. How many views did he have on that? Uh, 40. Oh, no. <laughs> so please. Watch the craziest HP Coach HP video you've ever seen. He interviewed like 90 people down from Joe Rogan. 90 people down. Like uh, DJ Electrify is higher in the scale at the uh, Joe Rogan production. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never uh, met Joe Rogan. Never met him once, but still no. higher. Yeah, so please. Uh, and the Brendan Schaub shit is great. Stephen Colbert, Tim Dillon. It's all good. He covered all that. But I'm like, yeah, I got Carl. I'm just going to focus on what I care about. And that was how he reacted to Stuttering John, which we don't cover here. So, it is time to cover something that we did do today. And that was we were on the show. Oh, yay, we were on there. And also, yeah. our new amazing mod was on there, too. Andrea was on there. The and so we mods. had the queen of the mods. We were all on there. And we also, you know, had a little fun. The thing about the Blind Mike show is... There's a little hazing that goes on when you start. When I bring people in, I'm, you know, they get a little of the hazing. So Andrea went through that today. So I think the first bit of this video is Andrea getting a little hazed. And then you will see when we come on. And then you will see the chat of the day. Yes. And then we'll wrap it up and let you go on your way. But remember, you can grab a membership. Please. We have a thing called... The Gongoozlers, yes! And on those nights, if you gift $20, you get a good personalized chat from any of the Gongoozlers. You can talk to Norm again. And two what? keys, and Yawn, and Norm. It's all, and the Fry Lady! Okay, boring Casey Day. You can even pay for that. Who would do that? That's so dumb. Pay for someone that matters. All right. And here we are, a little fun with Andrea today. So. Oh, Andrea says that nobody warned her. I'm so no, sorry. We, I guess maybe no. we should have. No, no, we don't warn you. We need you to go through the hazing. This is the test. Can you handle it? And she handled it with flying colors. Because Blind Mike's really just a fun-loving guy. He's a yeah. happy man. And so as long as you can take a joke, you're on the team. All right, so let's watch our new member take a little of the hazing. So this was my first AI attempt at getting... Blind Mike and Craigers. And I'm like, uh, no, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> I don't know. After that last one, this is probably what they looked like right before they fucked. Hey, they're like, let's shave down all our body hair and fuck. Then the next one, this was Craigers with a face swap. All oh, of it turned out well. There's a little Ozempic in there, man. Oh, we love Andrea. Thank you so much. Uh, do you remember a uh, uh, hack ride, by the way, uh, wanting to have a moderator in the chat? Yes. I it's starting to make sense for me now. Because well, this person that? he wanted to have moderate just commented, <laughs> want to catch Electrify and hack ride again starting at 3 30 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> of this week's Catch 22. Is this in the middle of their hack show? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Kirk loses it. Yeah. Yes. No, I appreciate that. I think in in the middle of our show, what people should be thinking about is other shows to watch. 
to be fair, Electra Fry uh, did right right after. Get all the Blind Mike links and subscriptions at blindmike.net. <laughs> he covered for it good. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you guys want to catch up on everything Blind Mike? Go to a different channel. <laughs> oh, I was crying. That's crazy. <laughs> Crazy effective. Yeah, guys, guys, do that, but hopefully you wait till we're done. You know, no, <laughs> go now. First. Give us, give us a little room to breathe here, and then focus on everything else there is to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Troy Smith, can't wait for Puzzle Box. There's like 300 people in I'm their chat too. By the way, happy to promote. Ha this is where, by the way, I, like I assume. Uh, this is where they just start pressing the gas on troll it's so fun yeah, he's gonna be like oh he, he's, he doesn't want to promote the show i'm perfectly happy to it shouldn't be my main focus Can we all agree on that? <laughs> no no we cannot all agree <laughs> it shouldn't be the center of this show is promoting hack ride yes it should be <laughs> i think it is i think it is thank you craig yeah, go do it <laughs> yeah, so we're all in agreement finally okay here we go, go, go <laughs> Go team! Oh, right, for God's sake. There's the chat. Oh, the chat. John's in a room. What's that? That was the chat that she had put up. Oh, I need to go back. Sorry, I was not. I no, was no, laughing. it's okay. No, don't tell me what to do. Don't worry. I'm okay. Play it again. That's her chat. Hey, everyone, if you want to catch an electrified hacker, it's starting at 3 3 <laughs> replay of this week's Catch a Box for Hacker, you know, on a different channel. <laughs> it literally though is the best comment in a long time or content in a long time uh, andrea amazing job just just it was perfect <laughs> it's perfect john's in a room alone john is cracking only himself but there's no one there to make him laugh i don't think i've ever made myself laugh to the point that i was short of breath and couldn't speak <laughs> So I just put that I in said, because I love his fake laugh right there. His John laugh. There's no if chat listen, on this one. No, if you listen to Blind Mike the whole show, there are so many quotable little sample things. Hold on, I'm pressing B. Yep. All right. Stock line from 1958. <laughs> Wait till the end of the show. Oh my God, I have two sound clips of the day that will blow your mind. Okay. I did. The, you know, the reason Lenny Bruce tried to change comedy. That's the type of joke I did. <laughs> I, I went to poke Vin, Vince DeLoy's uh, eyeballs, but he put his hand up and blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> I did a joke that milk and uh, hashtag Craig tag. Hey, Burl wouldn't steal. <laughs> their work, their work center. <laughs> uh, Andrea, the potential moderator with a big. <laughs> oh no, Andrea! Here is where the fun happens. Back <laughs> comment says, "Come back tonight for the premiere of Gearbox." A show about the Blind Mike Project. <laughs> they get it. <laughs> yes. Can I ask you this? Has moderator Andrea said anything about this show? <laughs> no. Um, that that show is about this one. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad she's keeping the chat focused. <laughs> it's like if we got on Stunt Joe's show and just said, hey, go check out Uncle Rico, make him out of this retard. <laughs> but we yeah. love him. We, that's the difference. This is a major talent. This is the next how it's done, people. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. I think you might be onto something, Craig. I suspect she got some very specific marching orders. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's what that was not true. I just I know when to lay back. I know when everything is falling our way. So I just get out of the way. So you didn't prep her ahead of time to do that? No, because what would I like? I would have just Probably. made her more, more nervous. I hundred percent. If you prep someone for something like this, she's a professional. She's had a thousand people in the chat. She knows oh, yeah. what she's doing. Yeah. Right. She's if this was me or you in a chat with a thousand, then yes, we're going to be like retards. But no, I, perfect, I, I, I think she's going to handle it fine. She is a professional. Jesus Christ. Well, turn this off. They just have never run into a professional moderator before. That's yeah. why I've been laughing all day because they don't know. Oh, they are supposed to put out just a whole bunch of links for everything so people can be like that's engagement. I, yeah, that's I like it when chats uh mod. That's chat. what YouTube says to do. Yeah, when Andrea is doing it. comes into chat, if, even if it's, you know, you're on a show, 
your mods put their link in the chat so yes. other people can go and subscribe and find their content and it's I great. am not taking credit for it, but when I came to Blind Mike, they were averaging less than 50 viewers per show. And, and, mm -hmm. and uh, they have gotten better on their own without me. But I kind of changed some shit, just easy shit, just to make, you know, so it's sort of the same sort of thing. A moderator with 300 or 400 people is needed in chat. You just need it. You just need someone who's because there's a lot of new people and they're like, who's that guy with the mask? And she's like, oh, his name is Hackride. And they're like, how dare you do that? <laughs> no, Aww. people need the most basic information. Anyway, here we go. Just Thanks, John's mom thing. craves man meat. Oh, no. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Hey. And that is a fact. Why I can tell you. Think about this show. Why are you wasting your hours of show watching now? There's a show about this show later tonight. <laughs> At 9 p.m. I think we have proven now that we are not the cliff notes for the Blind Mike Project. No. We have a study in Blind Mike. Oh, it's a different thing. Still shot of Coach HP looks like he's disgustingly looking. And an investigation into Craigers. Oh, yes. That will never end. <laughs> no, all investigations into Craigers are always open for all the time eternity. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why are you watching oh, this? Oh, I think we got a super chat. Well, no, we don't. Don't, don't. Uh, fuck yeah, that. we do. Oh, God. Joshua Lynch, twenty dollars super chat. Hack ride and electric fry, sending love. Wait, Thank I know a Josh. So much. Uh, I know a Joshua Lynch. Hold on. Do you know me, Joshua Lynch? Uh, were we in a band together? I think. I think. I think. I think. I think we got a super chat. We got a super chat. Yes, third for life. If that is the John Lynch I know, Joshua Lynch I know. <laughs> I got John on the brain. <laughs> why, why are you yelling at me, Super Chess? Joshua Lynch, amazing! Uh, I had a friend named Joshua Lynch once. I wouldn't be a musician without him. Oh, uh, really? He probably... Yeah, so, so maybe I blame him. Oh, uh, that's the first payment on a life of misery, Josh. <laughs> Expect a thousand more. Just kidding, brother. If that is you, I miss you, man. Uh, but if it isn't, you have a name of someone that I miss. Not you. Get out of here. Uh, thank you, Joshua. Uh, so let's watch some more. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, Hackerite is a very funny man, much better than this show. Wouldn't you rather... Oh, hold on, press B, and here we go. <laughs> break down Clip it. Podcast and actually have to sit through it. <laughs> Hackride says, yes, she has. Craigers is cherry picking, which is the first time he ever ate a fruit. hey -oh! <laughs> No, people, people, I think they're killed. I think they're just absolutely murdered. Oh, let's see what Craig thinks. But dump them. I like. Oh, but don't no, fuck you, Craig. <laughs> he did not like it. <laughs> Blind Mike, this that's all mess. Val, Hello, folks. Val, two dollars. <laughs> A B W O. Andrew Brower, World Order. Brilliant. <laughs> the man is brilliant. Yes, he is. I would have never figured that out in a I million never, years. I never have gotten it, and he did, barely knows her. He just met her. Not even met her. He hasn't met it, her. It is. It is a fucking. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, that is why it's meant to be. He just knew. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is that is kismet, I think this mm -hmm. in the Jewish circle. That's what they call kismet. All right. I think so. I have no idea. <laughs> this is a tweet. Come back tonight. Oh good. This is very important. Jot this down, please. I wish we had David Collins here. He likes taking notes. I know. Oh, David Collins. Oh, we should get him. Oh, well, you know who is on with David Collins? I'm surprised it hasn't been mentioned in the chat a hundred times yet. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it this way, guys. There's another show you should be watching <laughs> other than this one. <laughs> how did we do on David Collins today, DJ? Like, for, like, honestly, how did you think we did today? Uh, Well, wasn't that yesterday? Oh, my God, was it yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> We're all just blending together. How I did know. we do yesterday? We rocked it. I mean, we brought music and dancing it was like a, a musical almost you know it was beautiful yes. how, how much do you think you will keep uh, i think it'll just be like a five minute long fucking show possibly none he may just yeah. jump it all <laughs> david collins i challenge you to release the show live as it was recorded no well, he'll, edits he'll, he'll keep the part where we got the questions wrong in his quiz <laughs> his quiz that was insane it was the so ins insane. <laughs> yes insane man's quiz I love David Collins. Oh my God, you're the best. Right. Everybody, go watch David Collins' 30 minute half hour 
that's his channel's name and he's hilarious yes yes uh, blind mike when i met him he's like what is surreal comedy i don't do that and i'm like oh, i wear a demon face and i'm gonna pitch you all these surrealists and he's like i don't like it and then one day i turn on the tv and he's like oh this is david collins my new guest and i'm like yeah i won <laughs> i finally fucking won surreal beats normal good david collins 30 minute half hour show with hack ride and electrify <laughs> go, yes. tune in. go tune in now like we yeah 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 well, it's not up yet but just go leave this when show is it going up i don't even know i don't know his last show was a week ago so you think it'd be today but you know david collins has many many things to get to he's a busy man that uh, corn will not harvest itself and that cousin will not go unfucked by itself for that one stare at his youtube channel until it pops up yeah yeah that's way it's important for you to be mentally ready for that Just show stare at his YouTube channel. Channel. that's what blind mike used to do in the good charlotte channel hey -o. because we all know this <laughs> It's worth I mean, maybe it's worth talking about it like nine o'clock tonight, <laughs> but to watch it now would be very silly. He's so stupid. <laughs> Mr. David Collins. David Collins. David Collins. Uh, uh, potential moderator Andrea Blind Mike will be back tonight with his new show Gearbox at night. <laughs> this is this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one because it confounds their thoughts and minds. Like, yes, I will be back. Kind of. Wait, it's not my channel show. What's going on here? I love it. She hijacked. Ah, look at that noise. <laughs> now that you're just lying. Now they're lying. No, you're How are we lying? I'm looking at you, you bearded freak that I love so much. Aww. I'm not on the show. You are right now. You're literally on the show right now. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> this is when the, this is when they remember that time they touch each other's penises in that hotel room in 2021 <laughs> and just laughed just giggle at each other for 30 minutes <sighs> andrea andrea with a disastrous first episode <laughs> <laughs> no no <laughs> disastrous means amazing it really does <laughs> it's all right andrea he's told me many times that i'm not funny yes, i'm the worst joke teller I, you know, should basically just like jump off a cliff. <laughs> yes, yes. This, this is how he's he like, welcomes you into his family. Yes. Yeah, that means oh, he, he said loves you. you. Well, go back a year and watch what he was saying about the demon. God, I just almost quit like 10 times. He hated me. <laughs> but I kept showing up. That's and now we're here. Yeah. She's clearly a plant. She's a plant. She might have to be a moderator. I might, <laughs> we might have to make you. <laughs> Mike returning. The greatest thing about you, Andrea, and this whole thing is fucking John has got to be sitting there pulling his hair out. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Maybe like he, le he left me like John is looking at this like, God damn, she left me for, for such a funnier guy. His bigger cock, even though his psychologist, yeah. I don't know. But he, like blind Mike on every level is better. And she left him for him. <laughs> that's gotta me. That's gotta hurt, John. That's gotta hurt. Back right identified as you because I identified as him. Maybe it was a chain reaction. Oh, you know, honestly, it, 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 that that's actually funny. It might. And just remember, John, we didn't play one second of you tonight. Not one. Could be that actually. It could be. That's very funny. <laughs> All right, let's get to rule five. Okay, please. Well, yeah, obviously, I don't know what the fuck I'm... Yes, yes. Make sure you stick around and go check out the Blind Mike show where Coach HP here and his 30 people that watch this tell you the five ways to be a successful podcaster. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, he's probably <laughs> looking at... Rule number one is to start. <laughs> yes, That's yes. how you have a podcast. You just start. Yes. Rule number one, get out of bed. <laughs> All right, that'll be thirty thousand dollars. Rule number one: be born. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm doing because I'm promoting pod. Rule number one: your parents liked each other. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's nine hours from now. Start so please, guess. coach, tell me, give me something. By the way, thank you, DJ Electro. You made this video, and it's fucking awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad. Ooh. Uh, Andrea, real quick, I know, potential moderator, said hit that like with the thumb emoji. So we're moving in the right direction. All right. 
we're talking. <laughs> and, well, she probably means like later tonight on Hack Ride. Yes, she um, meant six hit that like. <laughs> How yeah. dare you, Andrea? You need to be more specific about when that light comes because not now. 6 p.m. Yes. I'm yeah. having deja vu. Hit the like right now. He just yes, hit that like. Yes, hit the subscribe. The yes, and grab a membership or buy someone else a membership. Do you know that we have member shows every week? We're not one of these people that don't do member shows. We care about you. I spent like a whole day doing a gongoozle that 10 people watched. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Like on that. Hey, you guys probably aren't even paying attention to the show anymore, but if you are later tonight, hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do that right now. If you liked the Blind Mike Project today, hit our like button. Yes, hold that in. Like edge, just edge all night long. And then when you're ready, just... <laughs> thank you. Look at this, right? Yeah. This is the last rule. Oh, God. Uh, sorry. <laughs> 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 He's clearly not paying attention. He just says, what time is Gearbox on today? <laughs> we literally made him money today doing this. Hey. Yeah. I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> we have a guy. Troy, don't worry. It's enough money to buy a razor. Fucking Bigfoot. Get in the fucking shower. Shave Troy, that shit. A guy is muscling his way onto the program to talk about it later. <laughs> it's climbing your face. It's like an inch away from your eye, that beard. It's, got, it's like, yeah. you ever seen? Getting close yeah. to his eyes. Yeah, you ever seen that Stephen King thing where the fucking thing okay. lands in his yard and he goes and touches it and it takes over his whole body? It's not happening here. Oh. There's, the moss is taking over your face. There's black oh, which moss. Which one on is your that? Uh, creep show, I think. Maybe creep show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Him and Electrify backstage. You think we you think we wouldn't do a whole <laughs> segment about backstage. when Gearbox? Oh, we looked all night. Oh, we looked so hard. <laughs> what are you? They get so different when we're backstage. Have you noticed that? Oh, it's so funny. Nuts. No, I haven't. Yes, haven't they know where they because they know they're being watched. Any scientific experiment changes when it knows it's being watched. Yeah, we're gonna dish. <laughs> like I see up there right now, seventeen people watching, but they're not real to me. Like I don't look at it like if I was in a room with seventeen people staring at me. Uh, uh, no, it's very yeah, I different. Guess that would be a little bit different if you could see them staring at you. Oh, that's the next iteration. Oh, we'll huh. see how we do with that. Oh. We'll get into it. But first, we have to finish up this boring stuff with Coach HP. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I found a box and I made it spin. You did? How did it? Uh, never mind. I was going to get pervy there. Yeah, make sure I think we learned a lot. Oh, get make pervy. Sure you, uh, start a podcast. Make your box spin. Hey, you <laughs> are already getting paid. <laughs> you know where you, know, you can implement these rules, Craig? Mm hmm. I've heard there's a podcast starting tonight at nine o'clock. Yes. You guys, a couple of guests here. All right, people. Let's watch the magic happen. And this guy on the, the right over the top right, just a superstar. And the one on the left, her tits are enormous. Oh, this is quite the duo. Let's go. <laughs> hey. You see how Craig puts us on the bottom? Ugh. Yes. Oh, Hello. Uh. How's, how's everyone? <laughs> what a but, great oh, show. Hello, Gearbox alum. Craig, <laughs> 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 say blind Mike. Hi. Hello, Alexa. Yes, yes, yes. yes well, welcome to the evening jerk. Oh, my God, I am so loud. What happened there? Yes, yes, there we yeah, jerk off are. to the blind Mike show. And the first 20 minutes, we will ask the question, where did Mike set down his razor? And will he ever find it again? Oh, look at that beard. Oh, what is going on there? No, we've you seen the butt chin. We know what, what you're hiding. <laughs> yes, yes. That's how we're doing, Craigers. Wait, wait, to shit all over a new moderator. Gosh, she's doing a great job in there, and you take every opportunity to shit on her. Good job, Andrea. Her, her doing a great job is relative to whatever show you're on. <laughs> We're on a show promoting your show. <laughs> Have you heard of this little guy named Stuttering John? No one watched his show until Uncle Rico came along. And who are these podcasts? What are, what are you talking about? We're making you stars, baby. Okay, we're going to be the new Stuttering John. Yes, quit yeah, sabotaging yeah, yeah, our friends, Traegers. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, did you no, just I'm compare really them to Stuttering John? I did multiple times. <laughs> <You're so laughs> but so I said we... Bad. I said we like you. This is the difference. Pride is loud. <laughs> yeah, Am I, I loud? I'm not that loud right now, right? I'm okay. I, I, yeah, I you're okay I, now. 
I, no, I, I think what happens is Craig sabotages me. He purposely makes me loud. Uh, I, I'm on your tricks, Craigers. Yeah, he's, Shut up. He's particularly. Craigers. Yeah, I noticed that too. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you, are you in the Spurg Discord too, Craiger? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> you that was good. Spurging out on me. <laughs> who? He's like, who? That's a clip. Hey, Spurg people, I made you a clip. There you go. Have at it. Uh, I'll send it to him. Than usual. Yes, they'll like it. And then shit on me for fucking something I did 30 years ago. I am not loud. I turned down. Now you're right. fine. Hey, guys, comment. What do you think? Is he too loud? No, do not comment on my loudness or quietness. Your ears are all fucked up from all the years of you listening to MP3s. I am I am an analog man. I still do things analog. What you are hearing is real. Let, let now, us know what you think of Hack Ride in the comments below. Yeah, please. No! Uh, <laughs> you, no. You, you and I, you and I will touch them, but once we demons put are down a little fit right there. Speak reasonably. Do you understand at all what we were saying about the promotion of this show tonight? <laughs> well, yes. So we didn't really have a meeting beforehand on how we should See, do things, I but uh, I, I thought she did a good job. I saw a lot of promotion there that really okay. mattered to me. <laughs> 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 Where? Uh, what show are you on? <laughs> Do you remember one year ago, almost to the day, you guys yelled at me for putting Hack right at the end of your clips? Uh, this is, we're doing it. We're, we're, nothing's changed. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> you yeah, yelled well, at me it was hilarious how big it said your name. <laughs> In the corner it said, Blimey. <laughs> yeah. And to Hack like, Ride. Great show, Hack right? I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and you call him out for that stuff. Yes, you heard that right. About a year ago, they would they'd do give me the one minute clips, and I would put my name on the end of them. <laughs> I didn't quite understand how it works yet. <laughs> you are crazy, demon. <laughs> and he's, he's blind, and so he's just posting this shit week after week. He has no Until idea. Craig finally it, but Craig finally woke up <laughs> out of his car, his fucking god candy coma. <laughs> 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 oh, good job, Gringus. Yes. I get be... caught and I move on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is the plan. I, I'm sorry what happened. Oh, what's next? Next week, maybe it'll only be 11,000 tweets about Gearbox. <laughs> yes, this, this is what you do. This is how you produce a show. Well, welcome to it. Have you seen your numbers, by the way? You're welcome. <laughs> yes, yes, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank what you. does it say behind you? After Ow? After Ow? <laughs> yes, this is a foul, a foul, a foul, a foul on Blind Mike, a foul on Craig for being a fact. No, this is after show. Um, hey, uh, by the way, a few things. I know. Uh, Army Major, uh, we're going to have to put a, a pin in that until 2025. But I don't know if you've I, I suspect, watched him lately, but he's he's on fire right now. I mean, any mention of the other side, I, he's not going to be our friend anymore. So we're not touching him until 2025. Okay. Then he'll be uh, fun to have they're both like, uh-huh. Understood. Yeah, no. You know, they get it. They understand that yeah. <laughs> you watch five seconds of the army major in the last couple months. You know, right now he's on a mission. Oh my God, that will be. You don't What's want to disrupt mission? him. What's that? What's his mission? To, to get Donald Trump uh, not elected. He is a, he is a firestormer. Oh, he so wants he, him not elected? Yes, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a Democrat. But oh, a, I didn't but know. Middle, I don't know. Who, I don't know. Army major. Yeah, we don't care about politics. And, and that's sort of the thing. It's such a political year. Then we don't want to drag politics to any of this fun that we're having. And so we'll wait till 2025. Because then we'll have so much fun with him. And, and I said even... Be all politics, yeah. Right, and, and how much fun is the army major going to be when Trump's president again? Oh, he's going to be so mad all the time. So what? Uh -oh. We're both just like, yes, that makes sense. And I'm a liberal, but I'm calling it now. I hope not. No, don't do that. Wait, let's not talk uh, about it. But, uh, what can we... <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, baby. It's happening. From you uh, and your, your big guest, Carl, tonight. Oh, tonight. Oh, we got some great topics. Uh, we got Stutcho. Oh, we got Coach HP. That's sort of all you did. I mean, you really left it. You didn't leave it on the field for us. Andrew, your timing is perfect. You have the best comedic timing. I love it. <laughs> See, I like to find Tuesdays is the greatest <laughs> fucking chat that happened today. <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. I love it. Please, more. <laughs> if DJ Electrify's mother gets a YouTube channel and, and posts shit 
Like, you know, uh, in Ireland and no one sees it. Please put that in the chat. I want it as far. I want go down the line. Her kitty's fucking uh, stepsister who worked on the same record play. I want it all. But he gave us nothing. Hackride, explain this. Explain this comment. This was, a, this was hard. I almost went off screen. I didn't know what to do. From this mod. I did not put her up to that. I what swear. Was that? What is it? Go ahead, read it, DJ Electra. It says DJ Electrify yes. on Tuesdays. It's a fact. Crazy. It's a fact. She's just stating facts now. <laughs> it's not promotion. It's just a fact of life. She is on Tuesdays and she does That's eat nuts. and breathe. Oh my god. Andrea, you're a goddamn Electra superstar. Fry. I love you. <laughs> All right, we also got some questions for Carl. We got a game and we got a blast from the past. Oh, and if you don't think I'm not reaching out to everyone you know, Blind Mike, looking for info for the show, oh, you are so wrong. Now, they worry you at all that Carl is going to be on this, like, review show. And he doesn't... <laughs> how do you think I got good Charlotte? <laughs> he's not familiar with my work. No, I'm going to show him how it's done. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, introduce, uh, introduce him to me, because I don't think he's too familiar. Uh, yeah, you got 30,000 followers because you got a nice wood paneling and a pool table. Now learn how it's done. Sure, sure. <laughs> we'll walk him through it. Yes, and Thank also, I was I was sure. amazed that Craig did not. You guys didn't cover the David Lucas hubbub this week. Oh my God, Craig! How hard did you get when you saw that joke from David Lucas? I don't know if I know. Hey, Craig sabotaged me here. What you're talking about? Oh, oh why yeah. don't you? Uh, was he just playing dumb? Yes, of course he was. They all oh. jerked off to this shit. There's a black guy talking the same shit they talk. They all they all got in their groups and talked about it. He uh -oh. jerked off to this thing five times. Yes, I could just imagine Craig at home with a giant erection in his hand. <laughs> Hold on. Let me first be. Okay, here we go. said what I've been saying. It was black on black crime, so I mean, we won't have to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how big was the stain you left? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that before. He's like a robot. This also says from, from Andrea, the demon, colon, hack ride. And another one of the greatest fucking posts so I've ever seen. So good. You can't give it. Just, just facts. You're just putting facts out there, Andrew. I get it. <laughs> That's right. Information. She is just giving information to people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a demon. Yeah, and hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone, everyone, hold on. <laughs> 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 again. It was just apropos of nothing. She just wrote in the comments, the demon colon hack. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Hackride? He's the demon. He's the one on the screen that's a demon. She is doing a great job. They watch the show. I know you people believe that. But they're here. Clearly, they're watching it. Hey, Andrea, what's the, what's the website for the show? You know the website where you can find all our stuff? <laughs> Just put it in there ten times. You conveniently ignore those ones, Craig, for your story. You How create your know, myth. Did you, you, you like? Uh, we really need to make up for this so far. Can you please type this? Uh, much like the healthy food on the menu, Craig has been know. skipping those. Yes. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> now, one last question for you. No, there's you more. I have so much more. Okay. <laughs> he tells me I'm done, and I'm like, no. Something no, I'm not. Yeah, no, the, the, I, while I'm here, Craig tries to take me off later. I'm like, you can't do that. What are you doing? You, you made a wise crack earlier. That we all, that Really, we spend most of our time talking about stuttering John and Coach HP. I know you guys aren't familiar with the show. <laughs> often we'll spend the majority of time on like one, two, maybe three topics. Do you worry about that for the format of a recap show? No, oh my God, no. Uh, okay. you, 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 you're both such content kings. Uh, you don't even understand what the show is going to be. You think it's going to be just a breakdown of your show. Well, just think that. Oh, please here's, just go into it thinking that. Here's my okay. guess. This show is about to hit the three-hour mark. I have a feeling Gearbox is going to be longer. Oh. I didn't think he was right, but we could probably do that. But, you know, oh, we're dear. just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna make it an hour, even though tonight it's up too. It's our special <laughs> premiere. It's not gonna be two hours every night. Fuck that. Oh, <laughs> too much work. Actually, 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 incorrect. Uh, uh, no, it's gonna be under an hour, actually, or about an hour, because we don't okay. want people to go. Oh, I saw that. I don't need to see the show. We're right, actually right, a right. giant commercial for the show. That's what it is. Exactly, people. You, we want you to go watch their stuff. shows. Yes, and that reminds us. Please go watch the Blind Mike Project. Yes. Uh, many of the subjects we didn't cover. We only covered us. Uh, we, you know, <laughs> we're, like the, we're like the third best thing on there. Two better things than us. Go watch. you. Uh, like they studied Stuttering John, but stutters, uh, you finally get someone nice that you like. Hey, so we're going to ask the question, can you do an Uncle Rico on someone you like? Because we like you a lot. 
but it's a good. We format. like you a lot. We don't care for this this setup. No, if you got any secrets on Blind Mike, the hack right at <laughs> Gmail is open, baby. <laughs> yes, let me repeat that: the hack right at Gmail. Any secrets you got on Blind Mike or Kriegers, send them my way. We'll make a game out of it. Yes. Um, we'll turn uh, it into a game. Yes. DJ DJ Lecce, you want to read this? Sure. Uh, if I could read that name, Ozymandias, Mike, you demand, love the show. $2 okay. super chat. Mm-hmm. You see that, Andrea? Yeah. Oh, no, see, Andrea's work made that happen. You see, Craig, how, that, that's how that works. <laughs> Akron, <laughs> not being on the show right now in the chat. True or false? Who? Andrea. Is she, Andrea, she doesn't want to be on the show. See, Craig made that up. Yeah, he is easy. He, he, look, Andrea's never been actively looking to be on any show. No, she was literally we did like. In chat. I went back and looked. I'm like, I don't think she said that, but I'm going to go back and look. And she did not say that. <laughs> no, Craig, that was on you, Craig. Craig on. Making it up. Have you heard of Mr. House Craig Sparks? The abdominal entertainer House Sparks. She is a mod for this man. Who Am we I are to have JVT. Her on now? <laughs> no, no. Well, if you want, yes, yes. He's so evil. But only if you promote uh, Gearbox tonight at 9 p.m. <laughs> yes, you can have her on if you promote the show. <laughs> Also, look at you, Blind Mike, covering Ray DeVito. Oh, we've come so far in a year. You remember when you're like, who is this? Why are we covering this guy? This pissed me off. Oh, because he's like, no, I knew who Ray DeVito was. He was, I will go and find the clip. He's like, Ray what? What is this name? A year later, oh, he's part of your life. You're welcome. Uh, I don't think I said, I knew who Ray DeVito was. This is a lie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is a lie. Go back to Diabolical and watch like, who is this guy like? You just saw Ray DeVito's name and went to a blind rage. That was the difference between a year and a year. Yeah, you wanted me to Duh. attack him for a Kobe Bryant joke that I didn't care about. And I was right. Have you not seen his behavior since? He's clearly a murderer. He abducts women off of I-81 and right. murders them. This is, this is a fact. Everyone knows this. I don't know. But I don't, I don't... Yes, everyone knows this. We all know that. Yes, you know that, right? It's no, on our Discord. Right. Yes. So Disavow. Yes. I don't know anything about this. All right. And by the way, this baseball to podcast pipeline is fucking incredible. Coach HP, Joseph Catalano, oh, just a murderer's row. Oh, look, look, look what we got over here in the top right. That's when you know the show's done. Time to get off the stage. When the blind man's looking at his phone. <laughs> That's when you know it's the time. <laughs> when the blind man's seeing you have performed a miracle. He wants you off the stage. Oh, a podcast <laughs> genius. Hey, oh. That was, a, that was a baseball joke. And Craigers, you don't have to hold the microphone like it's a hard cock on your mouth that you got to stay <laughs> near wet objects. You can put it down and it'll still stay hard. It's a microphone, not a cock. Like, right. oh, but it was a good joke. You've exhausted me. Is there anything else? Yes, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, one more. I'll, I'll just do one more. I heard you mention a Civil War podcast. Oh my yeah. God, Craig eyes lit up. I know which side Craigers is on. Hey, oh, the South are rising in. Oh, Craig. All right, I'll leave you on that one. He's a molester. <laughs> He's a molester. <laughs> you just, you, you just, <laughs> yes, you just drop a hard fact at the end. That is how you do it. He's a molester. <laughs> <laughs> on, hey, oh, the south are rising in. Oh, Gregor. All right, I'll leave you on that one. He's a molester. <laughs> He's a molester. See ya. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they let me stay. Well, they can't kick me out. I'm, I'm a fucking executive in the count, so I just came back. Yeah, Don't you know I'm a moderator on this? Goddamn, I can bring myself back, moron. <laughs> I, I've been DJ Electra very much uh, lately. Ever since I. I was scolded for not promoting hack ride enough. Hey, have we curbed that issue, Electra? Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, good. No, yes, thank you. <laughs> you <like laughs> I said that? no. <laughs> I said no. Yes, you're welcome. Not thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, oh, real quick. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about the David Collins experience without giving? Oh. Some- it was a frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What happened? Just the demon. What did you do to? We- well, I, well, listen, we're trying. It's everyone's job to get him to break. That, that is the job, right? Like, that is what we are ordained now to do. And I think we did it. It was after the show, so you're not going to see it on camera. But he, oh, he no. sort of lost it. Oh, uh, so it, was, uh, it sucks we didn't do it on camera. But it happened. Uh, 
DJ Electro, oh, please read this oh, man. from Mod Andrea. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. 9 p.m. Okay. Blind Mike is back tonight with Gearbox. That's right. Facts! Is. <laughs> He's be on Look at him right there. I see him. He's in the top right of my screen. Facts! It's, it's, it's a fact. You will be on the air. You are going. Your face will be on the air. 100%. <laughs> I'm so right. That is a fact. Is this a fact. Person or is this an AI mod? <laughs> I think Craig is also reaching back. What was the timestamp on that one, Craig? We've already corrected her. Now, stop it. One. She just did it again. <laughs> oh, oh, good job, Andrew. Good job. <laughs> good job, Andrew. Your role. It's about a good job. Is she your kid? And no matter what she does, it's fine. Hey, Craig, hey, hey Andrew, how do you feel about producing a show? Uh, so we could just run this ginger right on out of there. Oh, figures out. I'm gonna say I. I might He's got a kindergarten to, to get to anyway. He'll never leave. <laughs> I'm in lockstep with Craig here for once. <laughs> I like how you're writing yourself into the show before you cover this. All right, well, go check out. I don't know if you guys have heard, but Gearbox is on tonight at nine. <laughs> yes. Listen, don't shake your baby. Stop that. <laughs> Uh, stop shaking your baby. Yeah, that don't French shake your baby. Stop that. That <laughs> <laughs> cracked me up. And uh, what else? Oh, and look out for them on David Collins' show. Now, may I promote my show? If you guys would. I don't know. Me. Hold on. This part is funny. Yes. Okay. Go. Okay. Yeah. This part, not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> guys, go to blindmike.net and uh, you can subscribe on all platforms for free. <laughs> You're watching right now on YouTube. Subscribe. <laughs> Nimrob, like, that was good. All that uh, helps the algorithm. And if you want to support the show even more, become a member he's on dead. Patreon I mean, or YouTube. Gay. Excuse me, he's blind. <laughs> oh, no. oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> he's not gay. He's blind. Stop it, people. He's gay. You I mean, have to explain gay. what happened. He's blind. <laughs> <laughs> we may be having a malfunction <laughs> with my sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> We're finally starting to promote the camera. He's like, you know, <laughs> this was gay. God. This was gay. God's doing, gay. not mine. <laughs> 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 We have a meme transition. Sappers through the way. <laughs> now, this is very interesting. Tip. There you are. <laughs> I didn't know it ended like that. That's fucking funny. Yeah, that's All right, right when it ended. Right when it right <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. All right, what happened was uh, sometimes my uh, I use a stream deck, and the stream deck gets disconnected from the voice mod. So you press a button and nothing happens. And then they build up, and they all happen at once, <laughs> and that's what happened. And of I course, they were like... all saying he's gay. It's the best perfect mistake I've ever had in my life. Oh, it's so fucking funny. I will laugh at that until I cry every day. <laughs> I just, I was hitting buttons like bam, 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 and then it's like. He's, he's not gay, he's blind. And I'm like, what? How did it know? <laughs> <laughs> it was very Too funny. Much. Oh, but what is this? I, I, is this the chat of the day? What is it? This is a very interesting tip. All right, Krager's chats. Oh, what, what is this? Look, what is I Krager's? It. These are just some chats about Krager's. All right, let's watch. Being a pedo. They're funny. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, for Ben... Oh, it says, I was going to spend this money on Craigophile posters for my neighborhood, but mine can have it instead. <laughs> uh, Craig seems to be very happy with that one. <laughs> Here's one yeah. from, oh, the man, box eating dad. Kirk is being a baby. I don't know who that is. Some guy is being a baby and cooked. Craig Kone. Look at that look on his face. <laughs> oh, Dang Lizzo says, Carl just thought it was easy, like stealing a parking spot from a blind man. But like Craig says, the innocence of a baby. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alright everyone, it is that time Every week we're going to pick a chat of the day So make sure you get in that chat And give a good chat And you may win this award Let's see yes. who it is today Who is the winner? No, there it is Oh, that's one of my favorite merch Merchant Sons Mouse. I can never pronounce it. I tune in for Mike Murchison. All right. I tune in for Mike and Craig, but stick around for Hack Ride. Hack Riders Unite! Yeah! Yeah. That's a winner. That is, that's how you do it, people. You come and kiss some ass. You're going to win.
Thank you, DJ Electrify. You know how to stroke the demon's cock. And I oh, very yeah. much appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. I'm eating pizza right now. I'm so jealous. I'm so hungry. All right. Oh. Are you going to play it again? <laughs> what is this from the beginning? Yes, let's stop from the beginning. No, thank you. that was amazing. <laughs> thank you so much, DJ Electrify. Fun with Andrea and the Craig in the chat. That was like amazing. I laughed so hard. I got tears up on this shit. Ugh. I know. I was <laughs> crying earlier today and I just cried again. <laughs> <That's laughing> <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> yes, that's what we try to do here. We try to make each other cry. Oh, it's so fun. Got a few more things for you here. And then we'll let you go. We'll let you go. And remember, we're not going to do any after member show tonight. No, we're going to move that to Tuesday. So we can get some sleep. We will put a lot of work into this. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, we did. And so please mm -hmm. smash that like button. Subscribe to Hack Ride on YouTube. And, uh, you know, if you want, you know, you can send a super chat, buy a membership, whatever. Yeah, you can uh, put keeps... a comment in the comments afterwards. You could um, share it on your social media. So many things that you could do. Uh, there's to help so us much. With this algorithm so... problem. <laughs> yes, if you like. You know, I'm not going to call it original content. There's no such thing. That's what we, people fight over. If you like this content, then make a vote. Because your subscription and your becoming a member is a vote that says these people are doing it right. Not like those other people who are just fighting all day. I, yeah. I mean, I, I watch those two. I, don't get me wrong. I like those. We're all sucker for the big good fight. You do. You love it. <laughs> I love the fight. I watch shows I hate more than shows I like. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I do. Hi, KB. Hi, KB's lawyers. I watch you. I hate you. So all right. people do. It's weird, right? Anyway, would you like to hear the sound clips of the day? Uh, so Blind Mike yes. has... Oh. God. These all whores at the end of the day. Bye. These great sound clips of him, you know, just amazing sound clips. Every show he does like thirty of them. Would you like to see what the sound clips are for today are like? Yes. All right, Please. folks. Normally I'm gonna have one, but today I got two. So I'm gonna ask you to vote. If you like the first one, put a one in the chat. If you like the second one, put a two. All right, everyone. Here is. Today, this is from today's show. Both of these are the first clip from today's show. Number one, if you like this one, here we go. Uh, how's my schmoopy? No, how's his schmoopy? Schmoopy? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Was that today? That was today, he said. Uh, how's my schmoopy? Oh, so how is his schmoopy? <laughs> All right, let me see. If you like that one, number one. All right. It is a very, very good start. But what about number two? Maybe number two is better. All right. If you think it's number two is better, hit number two in the chat. If you like Schmoopy, number one. Schmoopy's going to be hard to beat. But I think this might do it. Ooh, 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 gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he did cartoon Mike. He did cartoon character Mike. Ooh, 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 gosh. Oh, that's amazing. All right, folks. So that is the choice. You have. That was my Schmoopy. Uh, or. Ooh, 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 gosh. That's your choice. Number one or number two. Uh, again, number one. Uh, how's my schmoopy? And number two. Ooh, 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 gosh. They're both on the soundboard forever. Cordis is coming I'm in. I am a one. man known for some bad choices. Yes, I am too, Krieger. So, yeah, I am I am also how's number one guy. Schmoopy. Yeah, schmoopy. I just don't even know what that is. <laughs> I mean, this could be. Ooh, 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 gosh. Yeah, that could be them in their sexual homosexual night back in 2021. I don't know, but this one. That was my schmoopy. Oh, uh, schmoopy. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck is a schmoopy? Oh, know. no, Andrew, Andrew, you can't vote. You work for the company. We didn't have the discussion, but if you work for the company, you can't vote. Yes, you can. Although, yes, she can. Ooh, 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 gosh. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. I got to admit, they're both good. Ooh, yes. ooh, gosh. Oh, you make that sound so naturally, DJ Electrify. We're going to have to come back to that. <laughs> uh, did you see Carl? Oh, look at Carl. Carl. Did you did you look up the man from 90 Day Fiance for me? Yeah, but I I don't know who that is. Hold on, 90 Day Fiance, old man, I saw young, this, some guy, Mexican, old I man, young Mexican, old man, young Mexican, really? I'm sure you'll. All right, oh, I did find it, but I it is. It is TLC. Oh my God. And they are so 
bad at like striking you. So hold on. Hold on, everyone. You're going to like this. It's going to be worth it. What is it? Oh, hold it? on. No, it's going to be. I'm go Just trust me. We, people trust me. Un momento, you know, por favor. Just, just going to take one second. Just so I can crop out all the TLC so we don't get in trouble. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yes, but I will show you this picture. And if Stuttering John doesn't use this picture tomorrow, oh, he is in trouble. He's, I, I just, I, I won't believe him anymore. I won't believe that his, his shit is real. Because this is the ultimate troll right here. All right. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. There's Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Everyone, look, it's a guy from 90 Day Beyond there. It's him. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> look at the hair. It's him. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's him. <laughs> it's him. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, that was worth it. Yes. yes. Please tell me that was worth it. Pony, was that worth it? Yeah, Pony thought it was worth it. Oh, thank you, Pony. <laughs> oh, that's yes. hilarious. Oh, very. <laughs> One more look, hey, that's him right there. Look at that. I like his hair. I thought it looked cute. <laughs> what is, what? Hold he on. had like Hold a gel in it and like a wave and everything. And, and people, like, well, people, here we go. Here we go. Wait, put it back on him. Look at his hair. I love it. I think that's how come back. Frosted tip and a wave. We're calling 90. We're calling TLC, man. You stole the look. <laughs> you stole it straight from. And that man drove to Mexico and stole a twenty-year-old from his parents. Oh, oh yes. Really? <laughs> yes. You know what I say to that? What? Ooh, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, maybe number two is coming in hot now. Ooh, maybe number ooh, two ooh, is. Gosh. <laughs> yes, this is a great thing. I didn't even press that and play it again. That was amazing. All right, we got to. Your yes. thing has a demon in itself. <laughs> yes. All right, folks. We want to leave you tonight with a mystery. Oh, wait, first. Stud Joe had a response to Blind Mike today. Can you believe that? Would you like to see it, folks? Here it is. Dear Blind Mike, new show today. Blind Mike is also stupid. I just read the last one. Lady K nap time. But wait, there's more. Blind Mike is also stupid. Yeah, so he obviously watched the show wow. this morning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Stud Show. We hope you liked it. All right. And so what we did, or what I did, is I went and grabbed uh, some of the Gearheads tweets back to John, because they're always fun. So here we go. We got Otsella. Otsella saying, attacking the blind again? Your pathetic wheat fact drunk. Hope you can afford a six-pack after your show. hey <laughs> oh, Wig Snatch says, blind Mike is more successful than you. So is everyone else you named. Hey, oh, yes, that's true. And Michael yep. Maserati said, Blind Mike lives in your head, free cock boy. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. Uh, John, yes, you got to get him out of your head. Look at him. He's in your head. He's just in your head. Stop it. Anyway, uh, I have one more thing to show you, and it's this. We like to leave the show Gearbox with a mystery for the chat. Now, chat, if you follow Kragers online... You noticed something happened this week. What happened? It was very weird what happened. I just started getting a random text from Craig. It was about uh, shit coins. There's random uh, coins that you could buy. I'm like, Craig, I don't want to buy your shit coins. What are you doing? <laughs> but they kept coming. I'm like, Craig, you know, I, I, there, there are certain things in the Blind Mike universe I can't be privy to. You know, sometimes I look for this one show he's on. Find it. Find it. Not, got there. I don't know where it is. But, 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 but I was like, hey, so, you know, Craig, what happened? Uh, people, these are the texts I got. Look at this. What is going on here? What is going on? Huh. Uh, it's, it's Quiplash? K-A-Y-U? Quiplash? What are these things? What is Jackbox TV, Craigers? But don't worry, folks. It sounds he like porn. Right? He came back an hour later, and he made a post himself. And I think this solves the entire thing. Mm -hmm. He said, Yay! I'm not happy, everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what the Sorry. fuck was that? All right. So the mystery I leave you with is, was Krager's hat? I ask you, mm -hmm. I don't see those things coming anyway. Then Krager's hat. He hasn't mentioned it since, but that is the mystery I'm leaving with. 
Thank you so much for watching. Yes, or was this he has just been the having a manic episode. You never know. He's trying to sell you shit coins, or he was hacked. But guess what he said? I'm not hacked. So why are you selling the shit coins, Krager? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! All right, everyone. That was Gearbox. Is it what you expected? Uh, anyway, I hope you had a good time. And uh, DJ here. Electrify, thank you so much for all the hard work you put into this show. It was amazing. Everyone, member up. Please, goddamn, member up. DJ Electrify has her own show now on Tuesdays. It's called Catch 22, and it is amazing. I don't have any artwork for it, but you can just take my word okay. for it. It's goddamn amazing. And then Thursday night, we have Puzzle Box. Yes, that's my show. And well, afterwards, we have... Too. It is amazing. That one is amazing. And after that one, we have a members only show, members only after show, where we're going to have a battle between the women. Uh, we're going to have some women comics go at each other, but not really, just trying to be funny. We're going to try to disprove that myth that women aren't funny. So, got a lot of pressure. The whole sex is watching. You got about 4 billion people cheering for you, DJ Alex. I hope you win. That's a lot of pressure because, you know, I'm not a comedian. So, I don't know why you volunteered me for this, but you uh, did. That's, that's what I do. I put you in, in places where you're uncomfortable and I watch your tits glisten because of the sweat have you not learned this yet i just put you in a position where i want to see your tits sweat anyway thank you everyone we have a lovely night and uh we hope you did too and everyone we'll see you tomorrow have a great week did you like your see you next yes. tuesday yes and see you next tuesday and, and then make sure you check out tomorrow we have a live concert i forget who it is but three times a week we do concerts here so come check it out get high come to hack ride <laughs> See ya, see ya. Love y'all. Yeah. It's your boy, Boss Macca. Alleyway Productions. Sit on back, relax. We're gonna talk some shit. Ain't no topic off the dome, you know? No stripper's breath, and it's fresh like Banaka. Brown hair, brown eyes, her name was Bianca. <laughs> like to wear Balenciaga Met her in Mexico at the Hacienda She chose me, cause she know I wanna honor I looked her dead in the eyes and said that I want her We got well acquainted Her uncle was a plug with the marijuana The only problem, he couldn't get him no further than Tijuana He said the DEA was all up on him I told him don't trip I don't want no bamboo weed with no seeds and no sticks What I want is some bricks Man, is he sick? Take me to Hefe where I get 100 for the six Tell him to deliver that shit I'll be waiting in Arkansas, posted with my grip. When it's not just my niggas, it's time for me to dip. Moving mountains tomorrow.